Oh no! Oh no! 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 Papa Vera! Oh fucking shit! I'm playing a woman after me. I'm Japanese. Donkey shit. How about this? How about this? WWE champion. Bitch, how can punch? Push, how can punch? Push, bitch, how can punch? Push, how can punch? I don't think Bitch, how can punch? Push, how can punch? Bitch, how can punch? Push, how can punch? You're an obsessed loser. Alive and well in Israel. If I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera, I would do it. Play the game constantly to make money. I'm not. I need that money. I really do. I need that money for my bills.
don't have money to do it. I 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 don't have money to do it. Following the game, following the fun game, playing the game, relaxing with me.
thanks to Jobity Bobbity for joining the Hate Army.
I don't want any drama in the stream chat. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the beginning. Amazing. Outstanding. Gameplay stream. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Yikes. The Ziggy Piggy is here. Ah! That's disturbing. I was thinking, let me turn Fun. off the white balance adjustment and see if it makes me look better. It makes me look worse. It makes me look like I'm in a volcano about to explode. Holy shit. Welcome, everyone, to 
a new streaming week. Welcome to the pre-stream podcast. I am some asshole. Welcome. It is March 8th, 2022, a Tuesday. I am coming back from my day off break yesterday, and I hope that you all had a great time, whatever you did on Monday, whether you went out and actually left your house and got some sunlight for the first time in weeks, like me, whether you caught up on all my recent playthroughs here on DSP Gaming On Demand, and if you did, I hope you enjoyed them. If not, well, I don't need to know about it. Uh, anyway, whatever it is that you did, I hope you were safe, and I hope you had a good time, but now I hope you're ready to get back into the groove. 12 straight gameplay streams coming for you guys. Yes, did you hear what I just said? Gameplay streams. Um, this week, I'm making a few executive decisions, and I think that you guys will like them, although I need to talk with you guys about some stuff. What the hell Make some are you determinations for this week, okay? So... First of all, Ask the King, my Q&A show. Does it make sense to do it right now? No, it just doesn't. It really doesn't. It makes no sense to be doing a Q&A show when I'm already backed up on all the new releases and people are fiending for more. Right now, you literally have no one asking for Ask the King, Phil, but everyone's know, asking for to you, more but it always seems of their like favorite it's a black games. Hole. Because it always seems like no how much we can more Elden Ring right now still to be the number one always debt and, and nothing's uh, getting among better. other things. I agree with so, you. So I don't think we're doing Ask the King this week. I think we're gonna bump it again. Uh what I'm gonna have to do is behind the scenes change all the data again. It doesn't say that, it still says it's gonna be this week. Um We're just gonna keep bumping it until it makes sense. It doesn't make sense right now at all to, to do the show. Okay. Um so that's change number one. Change number two Ooh. is I want to talk about how I'm covering Elden Ring. I want to talk about maybe some changes to that. I want to talk about the other new release this week that uh, people are talking about and that I had massive confusion about, WWE 2K22. I finally figured out why I had massive confusion about it, and I don't think it's my fault. I don't. Now I understand why I was so confused. All right? So we're going to talk about that. All right? Also... Phil's day off. We did a little segment about my day off yesterday and what I did. And uh, you know how it went. Won't be super exciting. I was yes. very confused. I only killed 14 zombies yesterday. It was a new record. New record low. Usually I kill like 20, 30. I only had to kill 14. Um, but we'll talk about that. A uh, little bit of gaming news today, but not that much. I Just don't Just a little care. bit to touch about, upon. It was, blah, it was blah, shocking blah, blah, that blah, 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 I had a day blah, off, blah, and there blah, was blah, not blah, blah, insane blah, blah, amount of news blah, on my day blah, off. Blah, Usually, blah, whenever blah, I take blah, a day blah, off, blah, it doesn't blah, matter blah, what day blah, of the week blah. it is. Whatever day of the week I ta take off is the day <clears throat> when there's a million things going on in the gaming oh, world. No, not this week. Not so much this week. Oh, no. Which is a good thing, but there's two small stories to talk about. Um... So we got a good amount of stuff to talk about on the pre-stream, but I don't. All, I also don't want this to go super lengthy. I want to finish it at least on time so we can get into Elden Ring today, which is the main gameplay stream for today, just so you guys know. All right. So Elden Ring today, excellent. Um, and then tonight, Pokemon Legends Arceus end game. And what I mean by that is it's very possible this is the end of the game for us. We only have we're we're basically in the f finale of the story, and if we wrap up the story, then that's it. Now, if we wrap up the story and there's post-game content that seems easy to do and it's not super time-consuming, maybe I'll do some. But admittedly, I feel that like this playthrough kind of has reached its You're logical kill, ending point. And no, I'm not going to be grinding gonna time to get every single Pokemon in the game because apparently it's insanely time-consuming and just tedious as shit. Uh, and I got other stuff I need to do that I want to do way more, uh, way more than sit here trying to grind just to collect some Pokemon. Um, so we'll see what happens tonight on the late stream. Tomorrow will be more Elden Ring, okay? And tomorrow night will be Horizon Forbidden West, okay? Now, I think what we'll do on Thursday to mix things up is that on Thanks, Thursday, we'll have Skyrim that. be the main gameplay stream, okay? Which is good. I actually did it as a main gameplay stream over the weekend. It actually did quite well. Viewership was pretty good. Attendance was good. Engagement was good. Support was pretty decent as well. Like, I really don't have a complaint about it. It seemed to work bringing it back as a main gameplay stream, Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, here is where we need to talk, all right, about the schedule, about what games I'm covering, and the like, let's get right into it, let's get right into the nitty gritty of it, uh, right here on the pre-stream podcast, let's get to the meat, the delicious meat. It's been pretty slow. Today. 
Sound good? I hope so. All right. So here's the deal. Currently, I am entering into, well, I'm already in my second week of Elden Ring coverage, right? Elden Ring, excuse me, not Elden Ring, Rick, Rick, whatever I just, Elden Rick. Who's Elden Rick? Uh, currently, I'm about 24 hours into Elden Ring. For any other game, you would say, wow, 24 hours in. Dude, you're probably about maybe halfway through. You probably got a good grasp on this game and what to expect and smooth sailing ahead. Uh, I'm in the first area. I'm still in the first area. I'm still in Limgrave. This game has so much content. I haven't left the first area. I had the ability I to leave the first Hulk area Hogan's a very game. long time ago. I already teleported to Kaled, or I beat the, the castle like three, four streams ago. I could have moved on, but the thing is, in this game, if you don't explore, you miss out on critical items that you need for the rest of the playthrough. In fact, I'm not kidding. I'm 24 hours in, and people are like, dude, you still didn't get this critical item in the area you're in. Don't leave yet. you got to go back and keep looking. Like, jeez. Jeez. This game is is ridiculous, redonkulous, absolute amount, insane amount of content. The lag right? is so bad. I'm okay with that. Too. Like I'm Why enjoying myself. So serious? But the thing that I'm noticing is here we are. Okay, almost two weeks into my coverage. The game came out two weeks ago on Friday. So you know what I'm saying? We're about a week and a half in. I'm 24 hours in. That's pretty good for playing a week and a half, being 24 hours into a game. Um, but here's the deal. Most people are way ahead of me. And the reason that I know this is because when you read the the the, the trends and, and the feed on social media about people talking about what games are hot and everything, now there are memes emerging, all right, from entire areas of the game, bosses in the game that I'm not at yet. And it kind of annoys me because I'm left out. Like, I like it that there's people enjoying Elden Ring along with me and talking about it on social media and having a good time. But then I, I'm like, okay, well, there's a... The big joke, there's a joke about this boss coming up, Radon. I don't know anything about Radon. I really don't. I haven't spoiled myself. People were actually talking about Radon in the stream chat last stream. And I started making jokes about how studly Radon must be that everyone's talking about him. He must be like the most attractive, manly, you know, he exudes machismo or whatever because people just love this guy and talk about him constantly, even though I literally know nothing about this boss, okay? So yes, there's memes emerging. Boy. And that they're emerging at a pace that, tonight. like, I feel like I'm way behind. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing. I do absolutely, positively do not want to be playing Elden Ring nonstop. I want you to understand. It's none of anyone's business. I played it for three days nonstop. That was six straight streams. It was great. But you get burnout. And you start to wish that you were doing other stuff. You missed the other playthroughs you were doing. Admittedly, when I got back to playthroughs like Horizon Forbidden West and stuff, I was like, what was I doing last? I haven't played it for, like, a week. Um, And I don't want that to happen. You see? Um, at the very same time, I do feel like I'm not moving fast enough in Elden Ring. I feel like having days where there's no Elden Ring, I feel like you're behind, I'm behind. Like I missed out, and now people are, are pushing ahead and other, you know, further than me and everything. It's I knew this was gonna happen when all these games came out at once. I absolutely knew it. I told you guys for months. I said February is gonna be ridiculous because I don't know what these game publishers are thinking. They're a bunch of fucking idiots. You can't all release your games within two three weeks. And expect that you're not going to cover, uh, create cannibalism. And that's literally what has happened. In fact, one of the news stories I'm going to talk about today is that game developers, not out, Elden Ring Man game developers, crazy. but all the game developers who've made other games recently are actually complaining about Elden Ring's success. And actually trying to like bring down the game and make fun of it. And then they're getting completely publicly roasted for doing so. Okay? So... This is very challenging. It is. It's very challenging. I am a variety streamer. I need to be playing a variety of games because right now I can tell you I have hundreds of people who attend my streams who don't they care about Elden Ring. They want boss. chill streams. They want the other ongoing playthroughs. They just don't care about this playthrough. I can't just be an Elden Ring streamer for a month. I need variety in my content. At the same time, Tevin's I do feel like I'm, I'm behind and I'm being left behind and I need to you know, basically continue with continuous coverage of Elden Ring. And let's be honest here. If you're watching DSP Gaming I right need now, the, you'll notice I really do. I need that money right? to pay my Overall, bills. Overall, views are up. Overall, engagement on the channel is up. Subscriptions, way up. Things are way increased since I started playing Elden Ring, and people want more. 
people are fiending for more Elden Ring. Now, I'm not saying pump 40 hours of Elden Ring in one week. I'm saying people want more of this game, so I should continuously be playing it, all right? So, here's the deal. Here's what I'm thinking. I would like to run all this by you, okay? Let's see what you guys think, all right? Let's see. I'm curious. I want to hear some feedback. That's why I love doing these interactive streams. By the way, thank you guys for all these contributions popping in. I really appreciate it. Obviously, you know, I'll give you a shout out at the end of the pre-stream podcast today for this. Um, so here we go. Here's my take. And then what I want to do is I want to talk about WWE 2K22 and why I was so confused about the game. We'll talk about that, okay? Here's my take. I'm of the impression that people would not be disappointed if I played Elden Ring every single day but not always the same stream some days it would be the mainstream and then a day when i don't want to do elden ring as the mainstream i want to break things up the daytime stream will be something different and then the night stream will be elden ring you see that way at least we're making progress every single day but it's not like every day the mainstream is Elden Ring, and if you're bored of it, you don't have to have to see it every day. You see what I'm saying? There's always another stream, another game to watch that same day. Okay? That's what I'm thinking. Okay? That's what I'm thinking. Do I don't want to have it game? that I'm being left behind. Because it feels like I am being left behind. Because think about it this way. Here's originally what my schedule was going to be for this week. Elden Ring today, Elden Ring tomorrow, Skyrim on Thursday, WWE on Friday, and then the weekend was completely uncertain. I didn't know if the weekend was going to be WWE or Elden Ring as a daytime stream or not. Also, I still got to keep playing Horizon. I'm still playing that. So that was going to be night streams per Pokemon until Pokemon finished. Oh, by the way, Friday night Street Fighter. But now what about Horizon? When does that come back? When do I play it? You see what I'm saying? It's, it's basically becoming too much. It is. There's too much going on. There is. There's just too fucking much going on right now. And we knew this would happen. We all said it, related, but it seemed like it. there was really no way to prepare for it or understand until I started playing the games and seeing how they were well received. I'll be honest with you, I never thought Horizon would here. actually flop on my stream. It's none of anyone's business. Now, I'm not saying it's completely dead. I'm just saying it was a hot new release. I thought it would get some attention. I was very confused. And it fizzled out within less than a week. It was my lowest attended stream, and people were like, play anything else. I was like, wow, I did not expect that. I really didn't. I thought it was going to be much more popular than it was. Elden Ring, I, I understood it was going to be long. I didn't think I would be 24 hours and still in the first area, just being honest. I thought I would be well into the game by now. It's like, wow, this is ridiculous, the way that they've designed this game. Okay. Um, so, here's what I'm thinking. For example, let's give you some examples. Today, it's Elden Ring. With the conclusion Fun. of Pokemon. And yes, this essentially means, no, I'm not going to be doing insane post-game extra content and shit, dragging out these playthroughs. Pokemon needs to finish tonight. Okay? So it'll be two hours of Pokemon. We wrap up Pokemon tonight. It's done. Tomorrow, <laughs> Elden Ring <laughs> Thanks on the, the day money, stream. stupid fuck. And then tomorrow night, you're already it'll left be behind. Horizon for Why are West. you playing <clears throat> WWE okay. UMS? There you go. Thursday, it'll be up in the air. If I want to do a third straight day of Elden Ring, I can. Or if I want some variety, then I'll do Skyrim as the mainstream. And then Thursday night, we have options. It could either be Elden Ring if I did Skyrim as the mainstream, or if I did Elden Ring as the mainstream, then the night stream could be anything. It could be Horizon, if you know what I mean. I'm giving Ooh. myself options by doing it this way. But the rule of thumb would be I should be playing Elden Ring every single day unless there's an exception. Like, let's say I play it for three straight days, and man, I am feeling so burnt out. I need a break from Elden Ring for a day. Then I could give myself that break. You see? But I do feel like instead of it always being, oh, we got to alternate and this and that, that it should be trying to get Elden Ring in every day a little bit. Even if it means a night stream for a couple of hours, I still think that's better than nothing. Okay? There you go. Now, no, it can't be Elden Ring every day stream. That's ridiculous. Then you have an audience that's completely isolated. What if you're someone who likes my content, but you just don't like Elden Ring? You're not really caring, but you want to watch Horizon. You want to watch Skyrim. You want to watch Street Fighter. You want to watch... Go. Fatty Other games ball. coming up. That's not fair to you that Elden Ring's the daytime stream every day. I don't want to do that. That's why I want to alternate every once in a while, just for variety purposes. And be, to be honest, no, I don't think I want to play three plus hours of Elden Ring every day either. I want to variate. I want to mix it up a little bit, okay? So that's what I'm thinking. Now, let's talk about the confusion around WWE 2K22 because, man, it was confusing. 
I was confused as shit. <clears throat> Let's talk about it. Here we go. So, WWE 2K22 originally was supposed to come out in the fall. It was monstrously delayed until this week, okay? So that's a big delay from October to March. Five extra months of development for this game. Wouldn't be surprised if it's because half the wrestlers in the game were already released from the company I'm and they didn't know what to do confused. with the roster and shit. It was a real mess for wrestling, especially in the WWE this last year. <clears throat> um, so when I was doing my schedule for new releases it says wwe 2k22 comes out <laughs> thanks for the money the 11th fuck. of march okay our keys is getting dropped Great. harder than the twin towers schedule that's when we'll check Why it bother? out all right so i just keep saying this i just keep saying hey you know you know 11th of march we'll check it out 11th of march and then all of a sudden over the last weekend and even yesterday on my day off i see everyone saying it comes out t today and i'm like what are you talking about it said on the schedule the 11th, and I swear, and I swear, PayPal. on my PlayStation, it said the 11th. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I swear. I don't have money to do it. Well, guess what, guys? I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I'm going to investigate this right now. Special delivery. Here's your answer. We're going to do it live. Ready? What do I do? Here's WWE 2K22. You click on it. Okay. Wait a minute. It says pre-order. Release on the 10th. Pardon? Huh? The 10th? Oh no, someone's illegally restreaming you. Why oh, no. on the 10th? I thought it was the 11th this thing comes out. Right? So then you click on here. What about the deluxe edition? Oh, that comes out on the 7th. Huh? Okay. What about the NWO edition? Oh, that's the 7th as well. But look at these prices, the exorbitant prices on here of these versions of the game. And you go, what's cross gen? Uh, that's also the 10th, but it's 10 extra dollars. What? So, if you're just as confused as I am, it's not your fault. Okay? It really isn't. So, here, here it is, here's the truth. The game is supposed to come out on, on the 11th. Alright? Which is Friday. That was the original release date. Okay? At some point... I need th that money. I don't I really even know do. when I this need that money to pay my bills. Alright? They changed their minds... And they decided what they were going to do in their heads is I'm back seven. they were going to make it a day early. So now it comes out on the 10th. What, what do I do? But then they changed it again. And they said, well, if you buy the I extra, extra, extra dip. expensive versions of the game, <clears throat> like, you know, 80 to $100, $120, Jesus, fuck, $120 for a wrestling game. Then you can play it days early. Okay. Now, I definitely can understand idiot. some reasons why you'd want to play a game early. For me as a content creator, okay, if I'm busy and I got a lot of games that I'm currently juggling, and maybe I want to get the drop on a game before its official release to pay a little bit extra. I actually did this last year. <clears throat> Excuse me. With hint, hint, hint. Oh no, someone's illegally restreaming you. Oh no. Lost judgment. I actually paid a little extra and Ooh, I ended up playing it like do? almost a week early from when the full worldwide release date was. And it got me a little bit extra into the game before I got inundated with a ton of other games and then I didn't finish it till like January. Seriously, I didn't. So. I'm looking at all this, I'm like, this is incredibly confusing. So some people will be playing it today. Some people are playing it on the 10th. Apparently, you can't get it in stores till the 11th. So if you want the physical copy, you can't get it till Friday. So everyone all around the world is playing it on a different day. Okay? <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid These now, exorbitant prices. I'm going to be Didn't honest with you guys. pay over 100,000 bucks on a WWE mobile game? Act? No. On PlayStation 5. Like Why? Why? $80 cross-gen. 10 extra dollars just to get it on PS4 and PS5? Why? And let's not even get into the exorbitant prices of those higher-end versions of the game. This game just seems kind of expensive. Um, for what it is. What is it? Well, 
It's got a showcase mode, which WWE games have almost always had a showcase mode. There's a couple years it didn't, but most of the time it has this, this story mode. You play through a certain wrestlers, certain plot lines, and usually it's a good way to not only learn the controls, but get a little bit of narrative Roll out of the game. Then it, apparently it's a sim. It's got a GM mode where you can basically pretend like you're the general manager of a show, run the matches and everything, or you could play as a particular you wrestler kind of playing through your own game. career, like a career mode, okay? You suck shit. So you got that. Talk ever then again. you've you got your face. the other fact, whole back end of zip it, your lips, which is the whole permanently creation zipper on your lips. Meaning you can make your own and content. And never talk to your own wrestlers. Be better off. The content would actually um, be better off. What happens is traditionally, up. when these games come out, usually initially there's nothing toxic. to do with that. You have to make your own. But if you wait a couple of months, I'm a I'll give you an example. Usually these games will come out in October. For some reason, this one was delayed five months, but typically WWE games come out in October. By December, like Christmas time, there would be so much created content that I could do huge, large-scale simulated matches. 30-man over-the-top battle, battle royals that are simulated with fantasy characters who aren't real wrestlers. Yeah. Politicians, celebrities, cartoon characters, yeah, yeah, comic book characters, rising. you know, mo movie horror uh, villains, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, pop culture uh, icons, uh, all duking it out in the ring. Uh, That's uh, funny uh, as shit, and it's a very entertaining uh, to watch those battle royals. I would usually do a King of Christmas tournament, where icons of Christmas, like uh, Scrooge McDuck, The Grinch, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus, and even Jesus Christ himself would duke it out to win the coveted King of Christmas title belt in a series of qualifying matches leading to a giant finale. Usually I would do this right before or as part of Christmas. But the game got delayed five months. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so for me, it kind of has deflated it a bit. Like, this is one of the major reasons I would buy it. I guess I would play through the story mode at launch, and then I would buy it at Christmas. Well, it's already March. They kind of fucked that up. You know what I'm saying? Um, now... Over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about it. And it seems like there's two schools of thought in this game. One group of people are wrestling fans. Much like I was for a lot of my life, today would I consider myself a wrestling fan? <laughs> Thanks for the money, no. stupid fuck. I'm kind of more like a... Ten kids that Hulk Hogan, so you can see... I don't want to I don't watch wrestling in a very long time. Last time I watched a single full match of wrestling was WrestleMania 2020. Uh, I got rid of the WWE Network, which is existing, and now it's part of Peacock, but I got rid of that a long time ago. I don't watch wrestling at all. I haven't watched a single match of AEW since they were created. Never seen one. Um, all I do is I follow the trend. The Ziggy Piggy's on... back! <clears throat> Excuse me. I follow the trend. Thanks to Jody Bubbly for joining so I the know what's going on with wrestling. I can tell you who the... Well, I guess I could kind of tell you who the champions are. Maybe. <laughs> See? I don't really follow it that much. But... Like, for example, there was an AEW pay-per-view over the weekend, and I'm aware of what happened during the pay-per-view, some of the momentous matches and things that happened, because I followed the trends, I, I, I see the news. But I didn't see any of the matches. You know, I, I didn't. Um, I'm just not into wrestling like oh, I used to. Oh, here we go. Be. Now he's talking However, about WWE champion. I'm aware so that there shit. is a chunk of my you piece of donkey shit. Many of you were wrestling fans. Many of you still watch pro wrestling. You used to watch my wrestling coverage WWE back in the champions. day, and you've continued to right. follow the product over the years. You guys WWE in the know a lot of the times about wrestling and stuff that's going in your on, motherfucking right? head. <clears throat> I don't think about... Bulls Paradox is what caused me to quit wrestling. You I've did. already answered this many times. You I'll answer it again in the way more about podcast. The fucking I mean, game than I ever will. This is the show where I should be elaborating idiot. on this stuff, You're an right? obsessed uh, loser. There's really two reasons that I quit wrestling. Yeah. Number one, I'm just not athletic anymore. No, I'm not making a joke. I was never. The reason why I stopped actively watching wrestling. Number one, there's too much. When I was growing up, there was Ron Smackdown. That's all you had to watch. If you liked the competition... You watch Nitro, and what was the other one? There was two other shows, Thunder. So you watch a few hours of wrestling week, you're in the know. Today, just to give you some perspective, you just want to be a fan of WWE. There's Raw, there's SmackDown, there's the main event, there's NXT, there's behind the scenes tournaments and events that happen that you need to constantly watch. Oh, well, you can't just watch that, you also have to watch the competition, AEW. They have two shows a week. Well, wait a minute. What about New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is a very valid third alternative? Wait a minute. But it got to the point when I had WWE Network, it was like all I would, when my wife was at work, I would watch some television and literally it would, every moment would have to be wrestling. Because if it wasn't, I was completely out of the loop about everything that was going on in wrestling. It was ridiculous. And I was like, 
how much time am I going to invest in this shit? Seriously, it's so much to be in the know and watch it all. And it's like, well, why don't you just pick and choose? Literally, you won't understand what's going on half the time if you pick and choose. You know? It was actually about that time, about two and a half years ago, when I was feeling very overwhelmed by the amount of wrestling that was out there, that I said, let me just watch, or let me just follow the trends on social media. So I did. I started following it on Twitter and everything. And then I started to realize something. I can still be in the know about wrestling. I can still get everyone's opinions on wrestling. And I don't have to watch wrestling. You don't have to pay a dollar. You don't have to watch it. You can just follow it on social media. And it's actually more enjoyable that way. Because I don't feel like I'm investing an insane amount of time. Which brings me to my second half of the reason why I stopped watching pro wrestling. Because it takes an incredible amount of investment. But 9 out of 10 times... There's no payoff. And I'll give you some examples here. Many times over the years, you're watching WWE programming, and WWE is pushing someone as a big hero. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. TV. Someone you just listed behind. like four someone different really unconnected enjoy brands. Their work both in the ring and on the microphone and in plot lines. I really like this person. So you invest your time in it. You watch all the matches. You really, you know, you follow them on social media. You're into it. Within two years, fucking WWE ruins everything. The character sucks. No longer are they in the main event picture. In fact, they're way, way down here, brushed under the rug. If they even get any television time, they botch it. They completely botch this person who you had investment in. You were really confident that they were going to be good. WWE told you as much. And then within a couple of years, they fizzle out and they're gone. Half the time, they get released from the company. And it would have been with things. It would have been something if this happened once. This would happen once and again and again and again. And again, the bottom line is WWE writers have no fucking idea how to write, but they just get away with it because Vince McMahon is this megalomania, megalomaniac. He controls his company with an iron fist and thinks everything he does is fine because he finds ways to make money even though he disappoints his customer base constantly, right? Oh, well, everyone's disappointed that WWE TV sucks. Let me sign a ginormous deal to do shows in Saudi Arabia and make blood money. Seriously. Oh. Well, everyone hates the fact that half of the company is quitting and or being released. That's okay. I'll just sell my streaming rights to Peacock and make a bajillion dollars. And then I'll say that I may have the most profitable year ever, despite the fact that I laid off like 50 people. That's Vince McMahon. Basically, the older he gets, the more fucked up in the head he is, and he just ruins his company. And I got to the point where I was like, I can't invest my time in this anymore. I, the more I invest, the more, I'm just setting myself up for more and more disappointment. You see what I'm saying? The more that I watched WWE, I would realize at some point along the line, they're going to fuck this up and I'm going to feel like I wasted all my time. Imagine if you were watching a television show, okay, for two, three seasons, all right, years. And all of a sudden, at the end of the show, they just botch everything. The ending's terrible. Your main characters who you like just get killed off immediately with no actual resolution or meaning to it. Just zoop, they're gone. You know, like The Walking Dead, which I can't fucking believe is still running. And even though it's ending, now they're going to have 10 more spinoff shows. I can't imagine anyone in their right mind still watching that shit. It's, it's terrible. And that's essentially what WWE has become. This terrible, just keep egging you on, keep pulling you in, keep watching, keep giving us money. But there's never any payout for any of it. Shit. How many times did they build someone up like Kofi Kingston or Big E, make them the champion, and then immediately bury their fucking ass? So why did I invest in that character? You wasted my fucking time just so you could give Brock Lesnar another $40 million. So, that's what I mean. Like, I, I just, I had enough of it. I literally had enough of it. I got stressed out watching it. It was too much of an investment. I was like, there's no point to this. It's just pissing me off at this point. It's not entertainment. It's actual annoyance. So I stopped watching WWE, and I stopped watching all wrestling about two years ago now, okay? I live rent-free um, in their head so, 24 fucking 7. That being said, there is still a, a group of people who want to see me play WWE 2K22. They're interested in seeing me get back into wrestling in this way. Um, I thought the game came out Friday. Apparently, the game comes out today or Thursday. It's so fucking confusing, all right? Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Right now... I couldn't buy this game if I wanted to. Right now, I got two giant bills due this week. 
and they're due in the next couple of days, all my money has to go to that. Anything I raise today literally goes to pay these bills. In the next day or two, I don't I have, have money to, to do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't have a dollar to my name. I do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I couldn't even buy WWE 2K22 right now. Even if I wanted to, that money is already accounted for. I need for. that money. I really do. I need that money. So I couldn't pay my bills today, even if 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 I knew it was coming out today. And you know what I'm saying? I, it just it can't happen. It sucks, but that's just reality right now. Okay? Um, but what about later this week? All right. Well, originally that was the plan. Is that I was thinking, I guess we're gonna play it on Friday. Now it ain't out on Friday. Apparently it's out on Thursday. Okay. Um. So what about that? Number one, again, I don't know if I'm gonna have money to buy it by Thursday. Being honest, like I have two bills that have to clear. One definitely clears tomorrow, and the other either clears tomorrow or Thursday. And I have to see how much money I make today and tomorrow to even cover these bills. So. I can't even promise you that I would be able to buy it by, like, Friday. I have to see how the week goes when it comes to what I can raise on stream, okay? Um, but I'm also considering everything else in the light of what's going on. Like, right now, Elden Ring is the hottest thing in gaming. Elden Ring is what everyone wants to see, and I'm fucking behind on it. And I'm kind of looking at the situation, I'm like, is this really the time that I should be playing a new game like this? Especially because this isn't not some ultra-hyped AAA big new release that everyone's asking me to play. This is literally a game for kind of a group of my viewers who maybe would enjoy wrestling. But is there a reason to absolutely rush and play it this week? <laughs> the more the I money, think about stupid it, the answer that I keep coming up with is... Poorly baiting idiots no. to give them money to buy it. I don't think so. I actually think that maybe this is a situation where I should wait because it doesn't matter if I play WWE this week, next week, or in a month. It doesn't matter it's still going to get entertain those people who want to see wrestling content, you know? Um, it's not like this is something that is shocking that people want to see right away and people will be like, oh my God, if Phil plays WWE in like a month, I'm never going to watch him play it. In fact, it's quite the opposite, and here's why. The created content. In WWE, there won't be a large amount of good created content for a while. It's going to take probably a month or two for there to be enough uploaded created content for this game to actually do, for example, Fantasy Sims. If I wanted to do that 30-man, over-the-top rope, Fantasy Battle Royal, right? I can't even do that day one. I'd have to wait because there's not going to be enough content uploaded. So what I'm actually thinking of doing uh, is waiting. And maybe... The game will go down in price a bit, too, by the time that I choose to get it. I don't know. And I know this is going to disappoint some people. Immediately, you're going to see some people in the chat who are going to be like, oh, man, uh, that's sad because I, I really wanted to see you play it. I love wrestling, and I wish that you would be playing it now. I hear you. But the way I see it is like, here, here's the way I see it. Imagine you're sitting at a table, dinner table, okay? And here come a bunch of dishes. You've got this amazingly huge heaping dish of meat in front of you. Steaming, smelling great. You're eating it. Oh, man. But then another plate comes out over here of delicious roasted chicken. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's so good. Then over here, you get the best sides ever made, right? You got mac and cheese. You got fucking mashed potatoes with all the fixings. It's all, it all keeps coming out. And it's like, dude, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying. But oh, my God. There's only so, I can only eat at a certain rate before I explode. I can't keep doing this. But now more plates keep coming out. And it's like, well, what's going to happen here? I can't I love keep Hulk doing Hogan's this, you know? I have to, at some point, I have to say, okay, no. Stop bringing the food. Let me finish what I'm doing eating here first. Because what's the point if you keep bringing food and now we have 14 dishes on the table and I'm only grabbing a dish every oh, no, 20 minutes. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no. The food's getting cold now. I can't eat all the food when it's warm and steaming and delicious because there's too much of it on the table. That's, I, that's literally how I feel right now, Right? I feel like there's so much going on in gaming and I'm just like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting underwater here with the amount of stuff that's out. We need to finish Pokemon tonight. That'll be a good one to finish that off. And then we got a game done and now we can focus more on the other stuff. But right now the massive demand is for Elden Ring and I'm getting behind on it. I want to keep going with Horizon. Is there massive demand for it? No, but I'm invested in it. I'm like 20 hours plus in. In fact, let's take a look at that. I am actually 22 hours in Horizon Forbidden West. And we're actually, from what I'm to understand, we're heading in tour into maybe the final third of the game plot-wise. Since I'm not doing the side content because it does seem completely superfluous to the game, and honestly, I hate to say, not very well implemented. I feel like it's one of the biggest shortcomings of that game is the, the side content's just a time waster. Um, 
maybe if I just focus <clears throat> on Horizon for the next two weeks as a night stream, maybe I can beat it and get that out of the rotation. Now it's done. That's another game done, and we can focus in on other stuff. You see what I'm saying? I really feel like what I need to do is hyper-focus on what I'm playing, but play more of what you want. Right now, you want more Elden Ring. I want to play more Elden Ring. I need to get further in it. So that's got to be my major focus. What, what I don't do think I do? taking on WWE right now makes any sense. I think it'll be more like, God, now when do we play what? And there's too much going on and I'm not finishing anything. Again, the analogy, I'm sitting at the table. Why have I have four or five giant heaping piles of delicious food in front of me? Am I taking on more, more dishes? I'll never eat them all. You see? So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, here's the thing. I know some people are going to be disappointed. All right, on my, my social media feeds, people are like, oh, I can't wait. On Friday, you're going to be playing WWE. I know there's people in, in here who are huge fans of WWE, and they're hearing me say this, and they're probably very upset with me. And that actually makes me feel sad. It does, because I wish that I could please everyone. I do, and I feel bad when I can't live up to that expectation to make everyone happy. I'm sad, because I right now I know for a fact people probably just heard that, and they're like, oh, man, that really sucks. I was so looking forward to still playing WWE. And I hate that feeling. I hate that feeling that I'm letting people down. Um, but I actually don't know what to do about it. I, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like let's let's I, let me put it this way. I want to play WWE. I'm not telling you guys I'm not playing it. I'm just saying I can't play it right now. I don't see how I could. There's too much else going on. And the, this Elden Ring, holy shit, this is a unique entity among games. I, you know, a Dark Souls game that essentially is like endless content and it's insanely time consuming, but you need to stay with it. If you do, if you fall behind, like now everyone's ahead. Cause that's what it is. Everyone's ahead of me. All these memes on social media and everything are about shit. I don't even understand it. I'm like, fuck, if I don't pick it up, I'm not going to even understand half the shit anymore. I'm going to get spoiled. I'm really worried about being spoiled. I am. I'm really worried that everyone's going to start spoiling the game. And I'm like, oh, fuck, you know, what are you going to do? I'm, you know, I'm weak behind everybody. So, I think that's what we're doing. So, in light of this, allow me now to lay down what I think would be a good schedule for this week. All right? In light of this and the fact that I'm probably not playing WWE this week. Here we go. Today, Elden Ring and the conclusion of Pokemon Legends Arceus on the late stream. Tomorrow, Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West on the late stream. Thursday, Skyrim as the mainstream for variety's sake. And Elden Ring as the late stream for two hours. Friday, Elden Ring as the main stream and Street Fighter. Saturday, either Skyrim or Elden Ring, you see? And then some Horizon. So because I'm doing this, I'm still playing Elden Ring every day, but I'm every once in a while moving it back and forth. And that's now going to create variety for those who want to see other stuff. Maybe every once in a while you'll want a Skyrim stream. For variety. Blah, say, blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 That's what I'm saying. Blah, 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 I hope that sounds good to you. If not, please give me your feedback. I need feedback desperately right now. I'm in a, a situation where I actually don't know what the right choice is here simply because I don't think there is an honest, correct, or incorrect answer. What do I do? Elden Ring has completely challenged everyone you know what i'm saying i don't think anyone expected it to be like this so i'm definitely open to your suggestion i am because the way i see it if i start playing wwe you're it's just going to be too much all at once now you might say okay phil if you're not playing wwe this week okay when when will you play it i don't know but I could definitely tell you it would be a consideration for the next game that I would play. <laughs> Thanks for the money, money stupid the, fuck. Outside of WWE, you wouldn't burn yourself next week, to burn the year Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy, I'm not even thinking I'm going to play it. After, From what I've seen and everything, I'm not really sold on it. Unless we get giant information about this game in the next what, week. That it's like the I best do? game ever and it's a must play. You're going to you skip it. You're really missing out. I don't think I'm going to play it. I think I'm going to skip it. Okay? Which means really... The biggest games this month are at the very tail end. The last week, we've got the new Kirby game, uh, and we've got uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Those I'm both interested in a lot, okay? And those, I would say, I very highly want to play. But that would mean, if I'm not playing Strangers of Paradise, I have from now 
until the, the 25th to focus in on Elden Ring and or the other stuff I'm balancing with it. You see what I'm saying? That would actually be a good amount of time. And maybe by then I'm almost done That's with stupid it. Little and it doesn't shit. feel like a big deal that we're now doing variety because there's a new game. You see? So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And man, do I need feedback because I just I don't Bro, think again, I don't think that there's a right or wrong answer here. I don't. GG5 remastered. You've got to be out of your mind on. if you think I'm playing that right now. Really. <laughs> like, you've got to be nuts. First of all, and that's it. I just played just waste our time three again. GTA games in the Grand Theft Auto Collection. That's number one. Number two, these games actually still cost money. They're saying there's no free upgrade path for GTA V. If you want to get it on, on current gen, you got to pay money even if you own it on last gen. So you know what I say to that? I don't have money to do it. 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 What I'm thinking is what we should do is wait until maybe GTA 6 gets formally released and there's a release date for it and then play that game as the lead-in, the build-up and lead-in to the next GTA as a way to refresh ourselves on modern GTA. You see? <clears throat> That's what I'm thinking. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I hope that makes sense. And, uh, you know, I hope... I haven't disappointed many of you too much. Some of you are probably rejoicing. Seriously, I know some people right now are probably like, good, because we wanted to see Phil play more Elden Ring and tell me that Elden Ring is going to be new Elden Ring every day is the right way to go. That's going to keep eyes on DSP Gaming and people will be excited to tune into the channel every day. And it's not going to be torn apart between too much stuff going on at Do once. Do you want to play the fucking the game? Other things into here when he needs to keep continuing on with the stuff that he wants. On the same time, I know there's going to be people that are going to be like, God damn it, I really wanted to see Phil play this, and now it sucks that he's not playing it right now. But I hope that you would at least understand. Here's the other thing. Really, it's going to make more sense to play a game like WWE 2K22 in like a month or two when all the created content has been uploaded. Now I could do Fantasy Sims because there's enough content for it. Right now, there will not be. Okay. okay. There you go. That's at least for now. But we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. So I hope that covers everything with the schedule and everything. I hope that makes sense, guys. All I want to say is before we get to news, there is some gaming news to cover today. Um. Thank you for all the engagement recently. Thank you for the support recently. Everything's been good. I really don't have any complaints. Um. Like I said, <laughs> the last month was insane, and right now. <clears throat> viewership is overall up. I need th that money. I really do. Up. I need that money. Subs are up. Everything's up. And nothing is seemingly j dipping. Like, it seems like there's a wave that's continuing now with the stuff that I'm doing, and it's good. So if I can keep this momentum going, maybe all year we can keep this going. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. But right now, welcome. If you're someone who's just started watching recently, maybe someone who just returned to the channel recently for Elden Ring or other stuff or both, thanks and welcome, and I hope you're enjoying everything. Okay? Um... I did hear that, Red Gamer. There is an expansion for Lost Judgment coming out at the end of this month. This is supposed to be Kaido's story-based DLC that they were talking about ever since the launch of the game. Uh, I don't remember if I have this or not. Because if you remember, I paid extra to play the game early. But I don't remember if that paying extra included getting that Kaido DLC or not. So, am I interested in it? Yes. Is there any chance right now that I'm going to make a promise about playing it at launch? Hell no. Not with what we're dealing with right now. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, all right. First of all, let's do a little segment that we do once a week. It's everyone's favorite segment. I swear, all of you tell me every week how much you enjoy it. You want it every week like clockwork. If I don't do it, you'd be very disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. it's time for a segment on the pre-stream podcast that I like to call Phil's day off. That's right. Dramatic fall. So, yesterday was my day off from streaming. What happened? Well, first of all, I went grocery shopping. Very exciting. Very exciting. In reality, this is probably the first time 
that I went grocery shopping in about two months, ever since that snowstorm we had at Christmas. Yes, over two months. Every time I've gone grocery shopping, this store has been out of shit. Oh, Whoa, well, the what supply do I do? chain was disrupted and we can't catch it. They still have signs in the store saying things like, oh, we're still backed up on this product or whatever. But finally, this was the first week they had everything that I, that I needed except... Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. I'm very disappointed. Chicken meatballs are absolutely delicious. We eat them with pasta every week because I'm Italian. I have to have pasta once a week. If I don't eat pasta once a week, I actually turn into a gremlin. So when we have our pasta, we've been eating chicken meatballs. And sadly, they didn't have them. I was incredibly upset. Incredibly upset. They do have Italian-style chicken sausage, but it's just not the same. It doesn't taste the same. But we got a substitute. But anyway, it was good. They had everything I needed, but the prices are still exorbitant. Like, again, I used to be able to shop for a certain amount, and now when I go shopping every week, literally it's increased by about, I'd argue, about 60% increase in cost. And that's not me exaggerating. That's the prices going up. And it's hilarious because I see things on TV like, oh, inflation is like, it went up 7%. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm buying the same product I was buying two years ago, and it used to be $10, and now it's $13.50. That's not 7% inflation. And that's across the board. Like, everything I'm buying is more expensive. So how do you say 7% when in reality, everything you're buying is like 30 40% more expensive? I don't understand how they figure 7%. It sounds like horseshit to me. It sounds like people are trying to finagle some magic number to make you feel like it's not as bad as it is. Because all I know is I'm paying a fuck ton more when I go grocery shopping now than when I was just a year or two ago. <clears throat> okay. So, then during the day, it was actually a nice day yesterday. It was it was sunny, but not overbearingly hot or, or you know, it was a cool day. And we had an appointment to go to. That was no big deal. We got there easily. We had some other things to do while we were out and about. Um, notably, probably the most notable thing that happened was dinner. So as I've told you guys, we don't have any good Italian style pizza places around here. I live in Washington state to give you guys some, some perspective here. I used to live in Connecticut. That's a state on the East coast of the United States, heavy concentration of Italian population in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut like area. Okay, mm. and so when you lived over there, you could go to a restaurant um, and you would get authentic Italian cuisine, whether it's pasta or like a, a you know classic chicken parm or another kind of like chicken marsala or pizza. Oh, my God, the pizza is outstanding on the East Coast. Okay, so out here, do they have pizza? Yes. Do they have Italian food? Yes. But it's not even close to being authentic. It's just not. Everything out here has been massively Americanized. It's very rare to even find an independent pizza chain. Most of them are like Papa John's, Pizza Hut, Domino's. Every once in a while, you find another place, and it's terrible. There, we got two places out here that, that are gross. And they're supposed to be local, oh, local gourmet pizza. You eat like, oh, this is like not even close. Like, it doesn't have any of the seasoning. It doesn't even use the right sauce. You eat like, what the fuck is this? Anyone who puts American cheese on a pizza deserve an atomic wedgie. Anyway, um, there are a couple places out here that do decent pizza, but <laughs> thanks for the money, thing. stupid fuck. Essentially, what they are, they're business degree BTW, where they do things differently than the other places. But it's like you know, it's not like you're ordering a pizza for delivery. It's like you're going to a restaurant to get a, a, a pizza. So. Kat and I were craving pizza yesterday. We were like, do we really want pizza? What can we get? Now, there's two restaurants around here that do it. Um, so we decided to, to see what if we were to order and get delivered through, like, one of the delivery services. Not, you know, formal delivery through the restaurant, but to actually have one of these places like Uber Eats or DoorDash actually deliver the food. We'd never done this before. We didn't try it. Okay? Oh! So we ended up ordering a pizza from The Rock. Does anyone know what The Rock is? Well, I've never heard of it until I moved out here. What the hell are it's you talking about? It's a chain that's actually I rock love Hulk themed, Hogan's like rock dick. music. Like, think 1980s, ni hair metal, 1990s, like alt rock, <clears throat> all that kind of music. When you go inside the restaurant, 
it actually looks like you're inside of like a, a stage of like a concert, a rock concert. And they purposely themed their entire restaurant to look like this and it plays rock music constantly inside. Um, now, is it authentic Italian pizza? No. But it's really good. It's handmade dough that they use wood fires to cook in their oven. So unlike shitty ass fast food pizza that has the weird shape on the bottom of the dough because they just toss it in the fucking pan and toss it in their bullshit industrial oven and claim that's authentic, this place actually has... I don't care. Um, like real wood fire pizza ovens. You, they put the pizza... You get that nice char on the bottom of the pizza dough and the crust is still crispy but chewy too. And it has a very good flavor to it. Ooh, gonna it's probably it. some gonna of the best flavored pizza dough you can get Ooh. out here. Because most pizzas just taste weird, you know? You go to a fucking restaurant, I want a pizza. They bring you this flatbread fucking thing. It's like, what did you make me? This is There's nothing authentic <laughs> about this. It's like cracker crust. <laughs> and they have this weird flavor, like fucking ranch chicken. Are you a fucking idiot? That's not pizza. <laughs> no, bring me pizza. <clears throat> this place actually has a lot of interesting ways that they do the pizza. Are you going to um, just complain all night? Just leave that. They, they, they use a lot of authentic Italian ingredients like like fresh basil, ricotta cheese, etc. So we ended up getting a pizza from there. And we had no clue if it was going to be any good or how it was going to turn out being delivered. Um, Was it expensive? Yes. Was it large? It was huge. It was a giant pizza. It was eight huge pieces. Scrubbed we, out of both can I ate, whatsoever. And we still had lots left over. To actually eat at a later date, like, wow, that's really good value because normally you order out and you pay and you're done. Here you order out, you enjoy dinner, and you have leftovers too, which is really cool. Um, It was actually significantly good. We were shocked that it was that good. Now, again, is it rem reminiscent of the, the pizza? I <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. I, no. I have a Z. Nowhere near close to that. But for pizza, miserable. it was fucking good. I was this like, wow, miserable. this is a different pizza, but man, this is good compared to anything else you can get out here. And, and, you eat the pizza, and then the, the real key to telling if that pizza was good or not, you look at the box. There was no grease at the bottom of the box. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've eaten pizza in your life, and you can't tell me you've ever had a pizza. <laughs> Thanks for the money, <laughs> stupid fuck. <laughs> the bottom of the box. All of Garden Italian except food is authentic. authentic. Truth, what's in the box? Real pizza the box? is not oh, greasy at the bottom. That's disgusting, fast food style, quickly made, no attention to detail, no care put into the product. Pizza is greasy as fuck. But if you eat pizza and there's no grease at the bottom, that's real pizza. It means that they cooked it in a way that it charred the bottom of the pie, and therefore the ingredients stay on top. You don't get a liquid mess. That's real pizza. So there you go. Uh, that's right. Hashtag gatekeeping pizza. You want, you want to hear me gatekeep something, I'll gatekeep pizza because I fucking know real pizza. I grew up. Two blocks away. Okay, it wasn't really two blocks. It was a few blocks away the from an authentic pizza giant pizzeria. I ate authentic pizza all the fucking time. I know my goddamn pizza, and I'm not going to put up with this shit. 99% of the pizza out here in Washington is fake. That pizza is pretty fucking good. I give a thumbs up to the rock wood-fired pizza out here. It was quite good, and I was pleased. And not, not that we this all the time. A moron. Obviously, because it's still not healthy for you. But basically... We ate it and we're like, this is something we would like to do every once in a while. If we want pizza, we know where to order now. Is it expensive? Stop yes. This. But it's filling and you get leftovers. And it's not disgusting, gross, dripping with grease either. Okay? So there you go. I was very pleasantly surprised with how well it came out. They even delivered, it was still, it showed up. And by the way, it's 50-50. The restaurant was absolutely Shit. good. But then the delivery person was also good. Because here's the thing. You can get a, a person who sucks. They take an hour to deliver your pizza. Now it's cold and shitty. But this guy was fast. zippity doo da. Got here within like 30 minutes. The pizza was still warm. Absolutely delicious. I loved it. What else did we do? Um, We relaxed a bit. It was a fun day because we weren't out super late. So when we got home after we had our I delicious need those, pizza, that money. I really uh, we do. watched I need some that YouTube money stuff. To pay we my actually bills. watched uh, two different I people love it. take oh, on I the love early it. parts of Elden Ring, which was fun. Because I'm 24 hours in. There's no way I can be spoiled on early Elden Ring. 
Oh, <laughs> then you have the money, watch, stupid fuck. One guy who I guess if you're not like, Italian, you probably like won't like pizza. Player who everyone loves, and he was. It was very interesting as he's playing the game. He's counting, and I was like, "That's neat." This guy is so into the game, he can recognize a pattern of an enemy, and he's like, "Okay, here it comes one, two, three, strike." One, two, strike. Uh, oh, that's, I actually, I really respected that. I was like, this guy has that analytical my mind. Laugh sounds like where he act, watches act, a game, act. he's playing it, and go, live <laughs> as he's playing it, <laughs> or, he can actually <laughs> analyze a pattern like and, act, and act, map act, it act, out act, in his act. head. No, right? Like that at that's kind of what I was doing too. You guys remember when I was doing the Godric fight. I was like, here he goes. One, two, three, big slam, extra long slam. So I would I would just stay out of range of the first three and then dodge, dodge, and then hit. And that's what this guy was doing, but he was actually verbally calling it out as he played. I was like, that's very impressive. It is. Um, then I watched a guy who is nothing like that at all. <laughs> this guy just kind of runs around and flubs it. And it was hilarious because he fought that very first boss that I fought, with not the tree, tree sentinel. He couldn't fight that guy. He got his ass handed to him. He skipped him. He went to... Uh, one of the optional dungeons, I think it was the cat, remember the cat boss, the cat statue boss? Isn't it called like um, the watchdog, which makes no sense because it's a cat, but this is like the watchdog of the under, under crypt or something. And he literally died a million times to the first yeah. boss. I'm a pussy. I'm like, wow. Now that's perspective. Because even I didn't die a million times to that boss. I think I died once, right? And then I kicked its ass. But this guy is like, die, 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 Ooh. die, die. Like, wow. That is a completely different experience. At the same time, he discovered a, a, a hidden dungeon I didn't know about. But it's it's crappy. It's a really low-level dungeon. It's a throwaway dungeon. You don't need to do it. But I was watching him do that, too. I was like, oh, I, I completely missed this one. Um. So, you know, everyone who plays it gets a different experience for sure. This This guy, this is funny. I think a lot of people did this. So he opens a chest, okay? And when he opens the chest, it's that chest where the smoke comes out and you think, oh shit, I'm going to get poisoned or toxic or cursed just like in previous Dark Souls games. And he runs away. <laughs> I'm out of here. He, didn't, he never went back. He didn't realize that it was a new mechanic, that it was a teleportation chest. So he never got to see the further parts of the game because he ran like a bat out of hell when it started spewing the gas. He ran the fuck out of there. I was like, wow, that's funny. Because that, again... What a, what a different perspective to watch these different people play and not know what's going on and then to see how they react to this stuff is actually quite entertaining. So we watched a bit of that. We actually have been watching also someone else play uh, Horizon Forbidden West and see their take on it because it's, it's interesting. You know, my, one of my strong criticisms about Horizon has been that I feel like the side content just isn't meaningful. Do they, does the side content have stories? Yes. If you're looking for big narrative, you'll get it. But the narrative never pays off. And what I mean by that is you'll do a giant quest line and at the end get a shitty reward. Wow, I did all this extra story stuff that wasn't even the main story. And at the end, I got nothing for it. It's kind of like, imagine if you were playing Mass Effect, okay? And you did a giant quest line for one of the side remember. characters. And at the end, literally, you didn't get anything for it. The side character doesn't get an ability unlocked, nor do they join your party. You don't get a weapon that makes you better. You just got some experience points along the way or whatever, and a weapon that's under level, a piece of shit you don't use. But you spent like two hours doing this quest line. How would you feel at the end of the quest line? Pretty underwhelmed and disappointed. And that's like how all the side content is. Uh right? In in this game. It's just like if you just keep investing time in the side content, you will waste a ton of time. And get nothing out Mr. of it. Mr. I kind of feel like what the thing was, was you that turkey burgers and this cherry game, juice. Uh, I don't think that every day. On a different content. We all kinds One of team stuff. worked on side content. One team we worked on the main story. Too. The director's job, you know, is to keep that content in line. No, I don't. Think, I don't foresee the entire. The director did a piss poor job shutting down. Because when you're doing side content and you're level 25, and the side the side mission is level 25, and you do it and you get a bow that's low level, what did you you wasted your time? The director didn't know what they you were doing. The Why would you have game? quests in the game to give you rewards that suck ass? You guys, there should be a reward at the end of that investment of time. And there just doesn't seem to be. It seems like the people who made Horizon feel like this is the only game you're going to play for two months. Drop everything you're doing, because our game is so lengthy and has so much content, it's going to take you two months to complete it. In reality, you could just turbo through the story and beat it in a week, but 
they put all this superfluous side content to try to make the feel the, the world feel more immersive or whatever, all these side characters and side stories, but none of them mean anything. You could literally skip it all and you didn't feel like you got anywhere in the game. Like, why did you waste your time? I feel like if you play 80 hours in a Horizon, at the end of the day, you're going to feel like you wasted 60 hours. Like, what did I play all that for? Really, I feel that way. Anyway, I digress. We were watching this guy play Horizon. And it's funny because you can tell he's a big fan of the franchise. He knows, he remembers the lore. He's reading all the logs and everything in detail. And even he's about halfway through the game and he's done with the side content. He tried to do one of the combat arenas. He was like, fuck this. He's like, this is so tedious and boring. I'm not doing this shit. And then he's doing these missions. He's like, oh, my reward is a green bow. I have a blue bow and a purple bow. And he gave me a green bow. <laughs> so... Again, if you're if you're looking for maximum story, then yeah, the side content I guess is meaningful, but for me I like the combination of both. Yes, give me extra story, but also give me a reason like for example, Mass Effect, you do Garrus's loyalty mission. Well, it's a good story, but also Garrus unlocks a really cool ability right, by the end of the loyalty mission, so it was worth your time to do it. Now, oh, you did the Garrus mission and now Garrus says he's gone from the story for the rest of the game. Fuck you. And that's what happens in Horizon. Like, what the fuck just happened? <clears throat> okay so anyway we did that for the rest of the day we just kind of hung out and watched some videos and stuff and relaxed and we listened to some relaxing music so it was a pretty good evening um that's phil's day off what an exciting segment we got a little bit of game news to talk about today um two things number one sony is doing a state of play presentation tomorrow that's supposed to be about 20 minutes long features games on both playstation 4 and playstation 5 there will be a highlight on japanese game development but, of course, there's going to be some other studios highlighted as well from all around the world. So what does this mean? No one really knows. All we know is there's no PSVR stuff. But outside of that, everyone's like, man, we'll see what it is. Could be exciting. Could be not so exciting. Personally, I would like an update on Stray. Woo! That game looks really good to me. And we haven't had any updates on it in quite some time. So I would like an update on that. But outside of that, um, I don't know. The other... Major real gaming news right now is that there is a lot of fighting on, on, on social media about Elden Ring. So allow me to explain what's going on. Well, as you guys know, Elden Ring apparently has become the biggest seller in a long time. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I Just in the UK, games. the only games that beat it out sales-wise in the last year were FIFA <laughs> and Call of Duty Vanguard. Tonight. It oh actually beat sales of Horizon <laughs> Forbidden West. Ugh. By uh, 2.5 times. <laughs> it sold 2.5 uh, times more uh, than Horizon. Okay? Hold up. So, gonna clear up, I swear. what's going on here is everyone's Jesus playing the game. Christ. Everyone's talking about it. But uh, there's actually uh, feelings of resentment. Okay, it's actually starting to feel okay. now. Among the game development community, people who have made other games are actually quite upset with how popular Elden Ring Stop is. Stop this! There's threads. You'll see on the <laughs> Thanks for the money, Battle stupid fuck. I'm gonna robust my West, brains out in a minute. Other games are chiming in and talking with each other about Elden Ring. And basically saying, wow. So I guess everything I know about game development is wrong. Everything that I know about user experience, everything I know about user interface, everything I know about quest design, all wrong. But if you look at these things, oh, by the way, and also optimization, you know, game running at a consistent frame rate and not crashing constantly. Apparently, none of that matters because Elden Ring does all of these things poorly and is the biggest seller like ever. So uh, all you got to do is essentially make a game that's full of hype and you'll sell. Um... And it's really weird because it really feels like sour grapes. Like, here's game developers who worked on other games. Their games are just not selling anywhere near the capacity of Elden Ring. And they're just pissy about it. If I get down it. on my hands and knees, you're, you're like, wow, this actually camera, camera, looks, becomes off do it. as kind of immature that they're saying it publicly. But then again, it also kind of resonates as being kind of true. Um, if you look at Elden Ring, right, and you look at, first of all, the game's graphical performance. It's not optimized. Depending on what format you're playing it on, it's a completely different experience. The frame rate goes up, down, up, down, right? <clears throat> There's tons of graphical issues on PC that still need to be addressed. 
Uh, yeah, it's an un unoptimized mess in that regard. Now, for me, I'm used to playing from software games at 30 frames or lower. Blah, 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 so playing blah, it at a blah, variable blah, 40 blah, to 60 blah, on PS5, blah, blah, it's actually blah, blah, not blah, bothering blah, 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 But I can understand blah, blah, people who are used blah, blah, to smooth blah, graphics, blah, 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 blah. especially in other games right now, right? I'm playing Horizon, and it gives you a silky smooth 60 frames on the PS5, and you just don't get that with Elden Ring. So why does Elden Ring get a pass, right? Uh, user experience. Well, can you honestly tell me, in any FromSoft game for this matter, but particularly in Elden Ring, are any of the quest lines present for the NPCs clear on how to do? <laughs> right? Like last time around, someone says to me, oh, you're in a ruin and you hear that whistling? Well, look up. So I look up and there's a guy standing on top of the ruin. That's oh, stupid well, you're supposed shit. to fast travel back to that earlier site of grace where there's a vendor. And for some reason, if you talk to that particular vendor... He'll tell you about the whistling guy in the woods and give you the whistle emo. So you can go back and you could do the whistle. Then the guy will come down and talk to you. You'll begin his quest line. He'll tell you about a guy. You won't know who he is, but he's an optional boss you need to go fight. And when you fight him, if you haven't fought him yet, you could summon this guy as a special summon during that boss fight. Then after that, you'll have a conversation with him. He'll disappear. He may or may not return in the later game. No one really knows because no one's found him. Or it's, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, huh? That's only one quest. That's one of the easier quests. Most of the quests in this game are impossible to figure out without a guide. Really. And to me, oh, you know, I I've never really cared about the NPC quest lines in the games. Seriously, I've almost never given a shit about them because that's how cryptic they are. A lot of the times you'll you'll start one and never figure out how to continue it and not care, you know? Um in previous FromSoft games, sometimes you get alternate endings. Like in Dark Souls 3, if you actually do complete one of the quest lines, you get the, the Lord ending where I guess you become like the Lord of Darkness or something. I don't really understand it. You know, it's like, oh, you're going to get married and then you impale the woman on a spike you or something. Play I don't understand what the game. fuck this is going on in these games. But basically, yeah, the quest design's a mess. In Elden Ring and every other FromSoft game, there's literally no way to tell what you're supposed to be doing unless you guess, get lucky, or have a guide already from other people who stumbled upon the solutions and got lucky. Someone please there shut is up no way the game will tell you what to do. It never does. Okay? Uh, the UI, or user interface, um, one of the major criticisms of Elden Ring has been when you look at the open world map, it's kind of bare bones. All that's on there are little icons on the map that you create, or the site of grace locations, right? Or there are some drawings on the map once you find them, but you don't know what they are. Sometimes, oh, it kind of looks like the same to all the other churches. Maybe it's a church. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But really, it's super confusing to tell what this map is unless you mark things off yourself. So what I guess what these game devs are criticizing is, well, in all the other open world games, they now have what, ways what do to I filter do? the map. There's icons all over the map to tell you what's what. Why couldn't they do that with Elden Ring? But what's hilarious about this is it kind of backfired on the game devs because people are saying, oh, yeah, that's just what we want. We want Elden Ring, the Ubisoft game, where the map would look like this, and then they would show an example of the map. It's like 7 million icons everywhere. Like, Because remember, Elden Ring has so much content. The whole map, like, there's literally not an empty spot on the map. Everything's an icon. The whole, the whole map. Like, you can't even fucking tell what anything is. <laughs> You're right, actually. If they Basically, if Elden Ring used the map style of Horizon Forbidden West, you wouldn't be able to see where you're going. It would just be icons on top of icons on top of icons. So a lot of people are like, maybe that's the problem. Maybe the reason that Elden Ring actually is a game that's appealing to a lot of people is because everyone who plays it can get a different experience and you don't get your hand held. So someone might encounter the super optional boss fight over here while 10 other people may not even know it exists, and that's okay. That's part of the natural exploration and experience of playing Elden Ring, as opposed to, say, the Ubisoft game where they tell you where everything is and you go everywhere, sees every every piece, and then there's no really uniqueness to it, okay? But then there's people who are countering that and saying, well, that's bullshit. If you're paying for the game, you should be able to experience all the content in the game without looking up 20 guides on where it all is and how to activate it all. I kind of agree with both sides. I want to see all the content in Elden Ring, I know I'm not going to see all the content in Elden Ring. I know I'm going to miss a ton of shit. And maybe if I do a second run at some point, someone can help me and point out the things, the major things that I missed my first run. But 
that's just kind of the nature of the beast here is when you have a game with this much content, you either get your hand held or you don't. This game does not hold your fucking hand in any way, shape, or form. And some people like that and some don't. Apparently, other game devs are of the impression that they the work their asses Diggy's off to back. make their games self-explanatory while Elden Ring doesn't. And that makes Elden Ring a worse game. Okay? Um, so essentially what's happened is now there is this, this whole kind of... Um, like, people are taking sides. Seriously. Like, there's people who are, are totally siding with Elden Ring and saying, no, this game is great. While there's others who are like, nah, you guys are just, at, you know, you're just so up your ass with height. You don't understand that <clears throat> an Elden Ring actually is missing critical pieces of gameplay and game development that have been common that make a game better. And it's insulting to a game developer <laughs> to say that it's, you know what I mean? Like, this is better when it purposely ignores the advancements that games have made. Um, that's an interesting take, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious what's going to happen with this game, and will this influence future games? Will we now see open-world games stop holding your hand with everything, and instead it's all about you figuring shit out for yourself because this game did so good? Do they actually feel like maybe they could cut down on their dev time if they don't put as much in? I don't know. Um, man. It's definitely an interesting Stop discussion this. that I've never seen before. Seriously, I've never seen something like this before. People taking sides on the internet and everything and kind of being up in arms against each other about it all. It's kind of a unique, a unique situation. Um, and I've never seen game devs this upset. Because, you know, what I really think happened here is for, in particular with Horizon Forbidden West. This is a game as you play it, you realize, wow, look at the attention to detail. Every tribe looks completely unique. Look at the character models and the crazy amount of detail I in their care. outfits and the things that they're wearing. The dialogue, that there's tons of dialogue in this game. And it's well-written dialogue, too. It's not just a bunch of bullshit. It actually tells backstories, interesting side information, lore, and the world design is so unique and different, and the graphics are amazing and blow you away. <clears throat> you know, I definitely think that Horizon Forbidden West is an insanely good game. Is it anything like Elden Ring? No. Even though they're both open world games, man, they are completely different takes on how an open world can work. Um, but I think they both work. The problem is, as soon as Elden Ring came out, literally all the hype died for Horizon. The sales numbers for Horizon plummeted. It had good sales week one and pretty much non-existent sales week two as Elden Ring came out. So I think what's happened here is the makers are pissed. They're like, now wait a minute. We made this crazy good, good game we really worked our asses off all these years, and you're telling us we only get one week of sales and now our game doesn't exist, right? Now, is that a reason for people to come out and now shit on Elden Ring? No, but I can kind of see why they're upset, you know? Especially if you feel like you put more effort and time into the development of your game to put more content in it, to put more UI in it, to put more direction in it, you know? And, and by the way, your game is well refined. The graphics are better. It's a steady 60 frames. All these things that are better than Elden Ring. Oh! And people bought it for one week and now no one talks about your game anymore. It, it didn't exist. It's pretty sad. I, I Actually, of, of all the kind of major social media posters that I see posting about games, there's only one that's still posting about Elden Ring. Because he really likes it so much, he's still playing. Someone please shut Everyone up this dude who's being a moron. I completely misspoke. There's only one who's still posting game? about Horizon Forbidden West. Because he really likes it. And he's keep playing the game. Even though everyone else is playing Elden Ring, he's blown away by Horizon. He keeps posting stuff about it. Everyone else dropped Horizon within one week and it's now Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. So, again, I knew this would happen. And here we are. You know, it has come to fruition. Elden Ring has completely destroyed everything else. It's, it's, it's a hyped game. It's a game we we're all waiting for. It's a game that actually... In a lot of ways, is shocking. Oh no, you didn't! From you previous from soft games, even though there's a lot of similarities and things reused, some of the new gameplay elements and things are mark making, my it fucking just words. Like the game to play right now. I'm and coming for you. It's actually to I'm the point. Find out who the are pissy fuck you are that their games you aren't doing as well. Motherfucker! Like wow, you are fucked. Let oh, this man. be noticed live on the internet. You're fucked. And, and there you, you go. And wrong. I completely agree with this. So Brosev says, you know, Elden Ring's not my style. Horizon all the way. And that's okay. It's okay for you to like one game style over the other. 
Personally, I'm sitting back. Can someone please shut up this dude who's being a are. moron? If you want the more curated, handheld, guided, polished gameplay experience, you go for Horizon. <laughs> if you want the, okay, you know it's a little rough around the edges, but my God, this game is, has tons of, of shocking, interesting variety content that kicks your ass constantly, you want Elden Ring, you know? Um, I, I like both. Stop I this. purposely like both. But... I do I'm feel up, like up, it's up, sad up, yeah, that Horizon came out the week before and now it's like dead in the water. Its sales have completely stifled. And they were like, wow, this is a game that we put so much time and effort into, we thought it would have legs. You know, week one, everyone buys it as a new release, then word of mouth spreads. So week two, you get the next wave of sales and now more hype. No, it was week one, everyone bought it, played it, week two, Elden Ring came out. What's Horizon? Never heard of it. Delete from my hard drive. <laughs> like, Wow. All right, it's time for shout outs. Mr. Inherit to the Super Chat says, Bonjour, how estas? Which means, how are you? You wouldn't say how. Uh, I'm good, Mr. Inherit. Thank you for asking. Jade has re-upped his membership. Thank you, Jade, for re-upping your membership to the channel. Ten months in a row, and he says, uh, the champions in WWE are currently Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. That's right, and aren't they going to have a, a unification match at WrestleMania? I literally could not care less. I do not care about that fucking match, nor would I watch it. Even if I was still a wrestling fan, I would probably not watch the match. That's how little I care about it. It's complete stupidity. Fluff. Uh, Dan the Man. Re-upped his membership for three months. Says, hey, Phil. Thank you, Dan. How you doing? Uh, Kevin B. To the Super Chat says, hold for Elden Ring if majority want to play it. I don't know what you're talking about. Kevin did another Super Chat. He says, drop Horizon and play WWE with viewers and pull. No. I'm not dropping Horizon. We're 20 hours in, and we're actually heading into the last third of the story of the game. I'm not dropping the fucking game. Mac Lang did a super jazz. Says, we're sick of current light of new games, please. No. The games I'm playing, I've only been playing for a I week. I have to ask. And WWE, I don't feel, is a game that makes sense to jump in right now. No. Uh, Zoya did a super chat. Says, when they say inflation is 6%, that's per month. Is that per month? I guess that would make more sense. If inflation is going up 6% per month, then it would make a lot of sense that within like a year, I've seen as much inflation as I have. Fair enough. Kevin did another Super Chat. He says, please shout out YouTubers you watched. No. And here's why. Because sadly, whenever I do something like that, people go and harass them. Because they're mentally idiots. These are they're fucking, you know, really obsessed morons who just try to make a living hell out of anything I mention. They harass people online who I've watched. So I'm not bothering with that because they can go fuck themselves and they can't be trusted to behave like normal human beings. I uh, smelly vision. Their heads. What? 24 became a member seven. and says, Phil, hope you're good. I am smelly vision. Let me actually check out uh, how we are doing with, with uh, membership now. Because there were a few memberships there, and I'm just curious if they went up or down. They very well might have gone down. Uh, let's take a look here. <clears throat> we're still at 367. Even with all those memberships, we're still at 367. So, okay. Uh... Our first tip of the day is from Gothi Senpai, who tipped me $10. Thank you so much, Gothi Senpai. Let's get that up on the leaderboard here. <laughs> and they said the following. Uh, glad to see you had a day off to relax. Your streams always make me my day. I can't wait for you to stream Weldon Ring. I'm also looking forward to you playing Ghostwire Tokyo after watching your Visage stream. You make horror games fun to watch. Boy, does Ghostwire look unique, huh? It looks like one of the most unique games I've ever seen. It's a first-person horror game, but there's combat, hand-to-hand -hand elements, but there's also, like, gunplay elements, and it's got this really unique visual style. Like, it's so weird, but in a good way. Like, I feel like it's going to be a unique playthrough of something I've never experienced before, which is a rarity in this day and age. So, I'm excited for Ghostwire Tokyo at the end of this month, for sure. <clears throat> okay. Um, Bosnian Majester, just to me, $2, says, are you going to play GTA 5 when it comes out on PS5? I already answered that on this pre-stream. I said, no, not as a new release, but in the future, as we get a build-up for the imminent release of GTA 6, then I will do it as a way to lead in and get us reacquainted uh, with all of that, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, good pre-stream. We, we, uh, we definitely covered everything. Thank you for watching, whether you watched On Demand here on YouTube. And if you liked the pre-stream, I hope you gave it a like and left a comment. If you watched it 
streaming. I hope you enjoyed it too. Actually, we just now no, more super chats just came in. Zoya did a super chat saying, "What do you think? Why do you think your viewers hate Horizon so much? They don't. My viewers don't hate Horizon. What it is is that my viewers are split. Some of them really ah. like Elden Ring, some of them like Horizon. More of them like Elden Ring, but there's still an, there's still an audience for Horizon. <clears throat> okay, that's the good thing about me as a variety streamer is it's not just one group, it's not just one game. Do you I have opportunity to appeal game? to different audiences and or play a wide variety of games because of the kind of content that I put out. Um, but quite frankly." Horizon, is it challenging? Yes. Is it as challenging as Elden Ring? No. Elden Ring, you're watching me take on these, these daunting challenges. You know I'm going to get my ass beat a bunch of times. It's, it's exciting to see me overcome the challenges and get surprised and shocked by some of the stuff happening. Not necessarily that much by Horizon, you know. Horizon maybe plays a little bit more safe, a little bit more traditional, while Elden Ring really goes crazy, right? Um, But a lot of people like Horizon. So, no, that's not true, what you're saying. Kevin did a super chat. So who's your favorite wrestler of all time? I don't have one. I basically have different wrestlers by, by generation. So, for example, if you're talking 1980s, it's probably Hulk Hogan and Macho Man and Roddy Piper are my three favorites. If you're talking 1990s, it's probably Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. And then tail into that Hulk would have Hogan's been dick. Austin. And then 2000s, it's probably like Chris Jericho. Um, and then late 2000s would have been like CM Punk. But that's how I am. I don't have an overall favorite. Okay. Let us end the pre-stream. And let's get started. Oh, the motherfucking ring. All right, thank you guys so much. And let's get show on the road. Yeah. YouTube mode on. $110.09. I'm muting my mic by accident. From Apple iTunes. Let's switch over, guys. Let's get started. Webcam needs to be resized and then moved. Resized and moved. Sixteen dollars and fifty-one cents from PayPal. There you go. And then we need death counter. A respectable two hundred thirty-four only in the first area. Oh. Very nice. I I'm actually. Thinking I'm going to hit a 1,000 this playthrough. I legitimately think I will. I actually think I'm going to start running into tough shit, and I'm going to end up being like a 1,000 deaths. And I'm okay with that. I really am. I'm fine with that. Who cares? Let it be my first 1,000 death playthrough. Let it be a historical moment, right? I'm down with that. That's all, that's all part of the fun, right? <laughs> okay. What? Punished mouthful mode? Oh, yeah, yeah. Super Jesus, you to you like Horizon. Oh, no. Go. Okay. Now, guys, I do have something important that I need to say. All right? If you are to support DSP Gaming today, in any way, whether that be a membership, a super chat, a super sticker, or a tip, okay? I need help with tips today. I have bills to pay over the next couple of days. Make no mistake or exaggeration. That's why I really can't buy WWE right now anyway, even if I wanted to. Um, and I need help with tips. I need to be hitting my tips goals today and tomorrow to pay my bills. If I don't, I actually can't pay my bills, and they're going to end up being late with late fees and I shit. I need th that money. Oh, I really do. I need that money. Obviously. To pay my bills. So if you could, if you want to help out this channel right now, please tip me today. All right? It'd be great if we hit these tips goals. This would help me tremendously. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't to do it. We're here to have fun with games. But if you do support the channel and you're choosing how to support, please tip if you can. I really need the help right now. Thank you. Hello, guys. How no, you doing? No, not him. Ah! Okay. Phew. I don't know why my back is sweaty. Just my back. I guess I was leaning back on the chair creating heat. Where are we? <laughs> they said, Phil, you know, we contribute Where the fuck you, are we? But it always seems like uh, it's a black hole. Because it always seems like no matter why how much you contribute, here? you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting oh, better. Oh, because we did, I this, agree we did the you. NPC quest line. That's why. I was like, why the fuck am I here? All right. It's the NPC quest line. Got it. All right, guys. We ready to continue here? Ah. Enchanted hat. Of money buff reduces your salt levels while the hat okay. is worn. <laughs> yes, Jad effects on where for spoken was delayed six months. Do I think Square's doing a big mistake again like they did with Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know. 
I don't. I honestly didn't even see much footage of the game. Everyone said it looked rough and shitty. So if it looked rough and shitty, obviously you want it to be smooth and not shitty. So they need to make it better. Then then let them. Okay, ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elden Ring. Starting up a new week of streaming for me here, where I'm going to actually be making a, a solid effort to play Elden Ring once a day. Whether it's first stream or late stream, no matter what it is, I kind of want to make progress in the game every day that I can. Um, last time around, we were exploring East Limgrave, okay? We were doing quite a lot of stuff, all right? And we were doing fun stuff, right? We were actually doing uh, a lot of interesting things in East Limgrave. We did an underground uh, dungeon called the Siofro River Well. We did the Mistwood Ruins, which was a plot line with the Wolfman. We did Fort Hate. The We did a lot, okay? Now, for what I'm to understand, before we can move on to another part of the game, which I want to do, uh, I need to basically keep exploring because there's some critical stuff here that I've missed, and if I I don't get it. That's very important for the rest of the game. Dude. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go to the Mistwood Outskirts. All right. Skirts. And let's continue to head like northeast. <clears throat> By the way, people are telling me that I should go back back to two thousand fucking. It's been pretty slow. right now. Not gonna lie. Uh, with this, maybe I could. I don't. Let's see. Oh wait a minute! Isn't this the guy who teaches the miracles? Oh, it's Dark Dave's fault. Be doing well. Very good. I think he does. Well, would you like to learn an incantation? So this is one of the ones I was told was incredibly good. Black flame blade. Enchant your right hand armament with black flame. Cost six thousand. Um. Yeah, I should try it. All different fortification. Oh, shit. Cure poison? Oh, uh, no, I'm getting this immediately. I need to cure poison. Now I won't ever need to worry about crafting those fucking items, right? That's awesome. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, and... Increase your flame negation. Increase magic negation. Heals for self and nearby allies. I wonder how much. I wonder if it's a Ziki Piki is here, now, right? Hmm. Maybe I should try it regardless. I think I'm gonna get heal. And I think I'm gonna get black flame blade, and we're gonna try all these out. Okay. What's hilarious, some people are saying get it, and I know someone else said like, you're being trolled, don't get it. So why is this poison is not that big of a deal? Rot is what fucks you over. Well, I'd still like to have the anti-poison spell so I don't have to worry about having the items. Why would this be bad? <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Fuck it. I don't know this. I'm just gonna get it. I'll try it out. If it sucks, it sucks. It's not a big deal. I need to fade the 17 to use it, and I have it now. So, so now the question is, how do I set these? Because I have them now. I don't. Uh, I don't know how to use set them. I do a set them with what, the bonfire. What do I do? I say bonfire to the place of grace, or whatever the fuck it's called. The place of grace. Anything new in the finger what, what room? What do I do? Looks the same to me. Oh, wait. The girl's gone. Okay, hold on a second. Where did she go? Not this way. Anything new? Where'd she go? She went somewhere. What, what do I do? Blacksmith? Do you want to play the fucking game? No, where the fuck did she go? Not in here. What the frig is going on? Oh, here she is. Good to see you again. She took off her red writing hood. What, what do I do? I have you to thank. Miserable. This is miserable. Master Hugh, I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. Spirit tuning. Oh boy. What I might be able to accomplish, but 
if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Mm. The spirit tune of Prentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So, with the spirit tuning menu, you can spend runes and grave glove warts, which we found a lot of. If you remember, those grave, grave glove warts show in the same exact menu as the smithing stone. So, obviously, they're upgrade items. Uh, they strengthen the spirits you summon from ashes. To strengthen named spirits, you'll need gl ghost glove wards. So, I have two spirits I can upgrade right now. That's it? Only two? Oh, wait. So, if you're going to be an oh. asshole, you're going to be treated like an asshole. Why? You're going to be shown the Why door. are they categorized differently? Oh, equipped and then just in general. I see. Oh, these are, these are considered special. So, Banish Knight Oleg, as well as the Lutal the Headless, both of which I got from winning optional boss fights, are considered specialty summons. You're so, I guess they're just better, I guess. I guess what they're trying to tell you is that those are probably better summons. Um, I mean, I do have the ability to upgrade them if I want. I'm not really using them, though, right? I mean, they have 100 FP cost. I don't even think I have 100 FP yet. I don't I want any have, like, drama 70. in the stream chat. So... No, I have 87. There you go. It's right on the fucking screen in front of me. I'm so stupid. Uh, I can't even summon them yet. Like, I'd like to, but they're not that good yet, right? Um, so, yeah. I don't. I guess maybe I shouldn't bother with this as of yet. Wait a minute. What an idiot. Oh, he's not special. He's a normal... Ancestral follower is a normal guy. While well, these are considered the specialty. So he's 63 to summon. There are over 100. They've got to be fucking good for that, right? Seriously, they've got to be uh, good if they they cost that much, right? Blah 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 Oh really? Martin says if you go back to the Stormhill Shack, I guess that's where you found her. There's a golden seed as a reward for completing this quest line. I'm gonna do that for sure. Thank you. Okay. Some shout-outs. G Dizzy has tipped me $20. Oh. Says, oh, get her done today, good sir. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much to G Dizzy. I appreciate that. And that is a nice, generous contribution. Let's get that on the leaderboard. I certainly hope to make good progress. Like I said, I absolutely have to finish East Limgrave today and move on to new content because, uh, quite frankly, I'm tired of fucking Limgrave. But it's funny that I just keep finding more shit. And then Z Jinping tipped me $1.50 and, and says, get hugged by the woman again. I never got hugged once. It will give you dialogue options to advance your quest if you're far enough in the game, and she gives you a dagger. Give it to the guy at the table, and then rest at a bonfire and come back. What the go, fuck? Go, go, no. Go, go, How about this? Fatty fat. I want go. to play the game. I, I don't want to do these quests today. I actually want to finish up with East Limgrave, and I want to continue on. PayPal. I'll do. If you want me to do this at a later date, I'll do it. I'm not doing it now. Seriously, I'm not doing all these fucking quest lines. They're ridiculous. All right. So I'm not going to do anything with that yet. Um, You know what I would like to see? Can I upgrade this thing anymore? <laughs> Can I strengthen this anymore? Uh, Thanks yes. to oh, Jubbity Bubbity for no. joining the Maybe Hate Army! Summer Smithing Stone level 3, I don't have that. You know, I really want to use this bow, the Serpent Bow, but it needs 11 Arcane, and I have 10. So if I do one more level, I can actually use this bow. Which would be pretty cool, actually, because I don't have a, a bow. All I have is a shitty crossbow, right? Oh, I have a communion seal. I guess I can use this? It requires faith... Of, wait. Faith of 10, arcane of 10. I can use this now, but I don't know what the seal does. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I, I can't upgrade right now. I could upgrade a lot of other shit. But I don't have the ability to upgrade my weapon because I need this level 3 somber smithing stone that I don't have yet. <clears throat> okay. So we're done with that. Now hold on a second here. How do I use incantations? Right? I don't understand this at all. The game never explained anything. So I don't know how to use incantations. Because now I have... I want to use this. It says I can use it. It says I'm qualified to use it. You see that? Apparently, I'm also qualified to use this one. 
The black fra flame of frenzy. What, what do I do? Flame of frenzy and black flame blade. I can use bull. Eventually, I'll be able to use this. What do I do? And also, I got heal, cure poison, divine fortification. I don't know how to use these. Put the seal in your left hand and set incantations at a spirit of grace. Okay. How... Where the fuck are the seals? Okay. Good news is I'm still be medium load. So I need to do that. Like that. Oh, look. My hand glows now. That's kind of neat. I'm also being told that this is a, a basically a, a site of grace. Fuck you from software. Oh. Fuck you. Uh, memorize spell? With memorize spells menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. I guess sorceries are arcane while incantations are fey. You must have a staff Fun. equipped to, to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. That's what the dragon seal is. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries you can memorize. So I can do three. All right. So my first one... Fuck you, Treyarch, dumb fucks. Should be... We'll try the Black Flame Blade. My second one... By the way, Black Flame Blade costs 15. That's not that bad. 16 for Flame of Frenzy. And then... Uh... Heal? Or increase holy damage negation. Holy damage negation. <laughs> uh Is it follow the path that has been set for you? You'll make enemies of all others. The monks, the sorcerers, what, what do I do? dragon knights, and the scions of gold. Heed me, the lands between offers no welcome to the tarn air. So I think what they're saying is you can uh, have a buff against, I guess, what's considered, uh, I guess what's considered holy damage. So that's why they're saying monks, sorcerers, ancient dragon knights. So maybe the crucible knight, this would have been added defense against the crucible knight, right? See, these are all good, like cure poison, heal. These are all good. I guess I'll, for now, I'll quick heal and see what it does. I want to try these out in the wild and see what the hell these uh, spells do. Not that I know how to use them. Oh, look. It's up. Oh. Right now, it says heal. I can't apply the other two? Why not? <laughs> I can't do Flame of Frenzy. Maybe you just can't do, you can't do offensive attacks in here. Oh, there's the icon on the left-hand side of the screen. You can't do any attacks in here. That might be what it is. You're just you're prevented. Okay. Do you want to play the fucking <laughs> game? Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. You can't even use black flame blade and boss right? weapons. Dent head. Yeah, he gave me the gateway. I have to go talk to the beast clergyman. That's what we're working on. That's in East Limgray. Okay. Anything new here in these areas before we move on? We went in here. There's nothing. Really? Oh, come on. Black Flame Blade will not work on the Halberd. I guess it only works on blades. Well, I do have blades. I'm just not using them right now. I guess I'll have to try later then when I, I'm actually using one of those weapons. Wait a minute. Do I have any... Do I currently have any sword keys? Uh... Yes, I have five. Oh, fuck. Isn't there a door in here? One of those doors is in here. I think I'm going to open it and see what's in it. I'm curious to see what's in it. Wait, it's not so here. So if you're going to be an beast. asshole, you're there it is. You're like an asshole. You're going to be shown the I door. I wonder what's down here. It's only, if it's only one, oh, it's two? No, it's only one. What the fuck is in here? Oh, God, there's another one? What is this bullshit? Oh my god, it's gonna be like a hundred doors. Crepus's black key crossbow and 20 black key bolts. What, what do I do? Uh, you think it's any good? Weapon of Crepus who served the two fingers from the shadows of the round table is the head confessor. Amazing.
incantations. Oh no, someone's illegally restreaming you. Oh no! The fuck is it? I want to see it. So you can learn it's Assassin's been pretty Approach slow. and Darkness. Yeah. Okay. The Dragon Seal skills off Arcane. The other Seal skills off Faith and it's better. Arcane and Dragon stuff is a separate build, but the good items are very late game, 100 plus hours. Yes, I already jumped off the balcony here, Hobo Axe. Yeah, I can't, I can't equip the other one, though. This one requires Faith of 20 fucking 7. I'm sure I'll probably get there eventually, but Jesus fucking Christ, dude. 27? What, That's what a lot. What do I do? You know? And by the way, it weighs a ton. It would make me heavy load if I used it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. So I can't do anything with that for a while. Okay. Um, I guess we go give the guy the book and see what these new spells are. Did I? I seriously went to the basement again. I did. Okay. I didn't do the that. Fuck is he? There he is. Here you go. Give him the prayer book. That is a work of heresy. Another work of heresy. Bear no lineage from the earth tree. Uh, Very well. I'll take it off your hands. So, what do we learn? To Assassin Approach silences your footsteps, reducing fall damage and sound. Okay. <clears throat> Completely silences your footsteps of the caster. Additionally, reduces fall damage and the sound produced by falling. The sorcery can be cast while in motion or crouching. <clears throat> that sounds pretty good, actually. <clears throat> darkness. Creates a veil of darkness that will conceal the caster. So, basically, these are all stealth, right? I think I might just buy this, too. Assassin Approach sounds pretty good. And if Black Flame Blade doesn't fucking work, right? At least for me now. Then let me, uh... Let me set this other one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. Assassin Approach. Give it a shot. I want to try this Flame of Frenzy, too, and see what it does. Alright. For now, let's get out of here. Alright, I want to go back to East Limgrave. I want to try out some new things. I want to head. Northeast and see what's up. Up there. No. Jack G did a super chat. If you do NPC questions, whatever. Uh, but, you know, this stuff. Wow. Here's Flame of. Frenzy? Now, how the fuck do I... Wait a minute. How do I use this? What, what do I do? Jesus! Hey, ass... Tolls. Now, this shocks me. Really sheep. We gotta head north to find any other enemies. I'll try it on these ass. I can see.
what the important part is. You know, I don't know. I'll tell you. How I'm going to get up there. I'm just going to. Rather than stick around. Around here. Here. Am I. Am I going to. Play it. Yeah. Also the it's Tevin's fault. There's a reward. Oh no, someone's illegal. Okay, we're streaming you. Oh no. Yeah. It's Super Hound's uh, fault. There's nothing here. It's I didn't get anything. There's well, no reward. There's the, a that's sick the motherfucker that's on the internet called Super this Hound, whatever the fuck this idiot's he name is. Already died on the way up here. I there's no reward. Treyarch, you are a bunch of fucking dumb fucks. Alright, what am I doing? I can't fast travel because the fucking wolves are there. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing in there, so... Let's get out of here. <clears throat> okay. The Ziggy Piggy is here. Now let's go back to the artist shack and we'll head northeast. <clears throat> I need th that money. Yeah. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Nice. Yes, they said that you're a gay boy. Eight and one. Do I want eight and one? Maybe I to should go other tonight. seven and two. Because I'm now I'm using my weapon ability to charge, and I've I've healing spells and shit now too. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe I should just one hand from now on. Because now that I have this incantation, uh, it may make sense, right? It may actually makes more sense to be one handing. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. pretty much the same attack. One hand is two. It is the same attack. So I don't see why I should two hand when one handing I'm getting the exact same damage output, right? It is. It should be the same damage output. So I'll just keep this out so now I can use this as an attack or I can heal or I can sneak, right? I think I'm going to keep this. This is going to be my build now. I am a hybrid like a, like a paladin basically, right? Let me try it out. See how this goes. All right, so I'm heading. North, I need to head northeast through this area up to. The, that's where I'm headed, right there. That building, I guess, is where I'm supposed to go. Um, but I gotta figure out how to do this. Like, how can I get up there, right? I guess it looks like I can drop down there. How the fuck do I get up there? I guess I drop here, and then I can climb up there. But is there any guarantee you can then keep going up? I... How the fuck do I get up there? There's a bridge from over here. Oh! Okay, fuck it. I gotta trash travel way over here then. How? Oh. Uh... Seriously, this is bullshit. It looks like if I do Stormhill Shack and I ride down the road straight all the way, I'll reach this bridge, I can cross the bridge, and then I can get there. Right? Okay. Grab some salt. So I guess we gotta go back, and then I guess we gotta ride straight down the road. It's confusing. Just like everything in this game, it's fucking confusing. Alright, so we're heading... No, we're going back this way. 
I'm very confused. Straight, straight ahead. Which is weird because the game shows a road, but there's no road. You see? So if I didn't have the map, I wouldn't even know that this is the correct way to go because the map, there's no road to, to follow. Weird. Yeah, see, I still have all my attack. I'm one-handing, I still have all my attacks, so there's no reason to two-hand this thing. Look at this guy. I somehow missed completely. Fun. Oh, I guess I aggroed the giant. Oh, is this a save point? It is. I never even found this one. A sight of grace. An NPC? Oh shit, I just stuff I missed over here. Reach out and touch grace. The War Master Shack. Not seen you before. Name's Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Bernal. Let me ask you something. I love it. Are you here? Oh, I love it. To take up the fight? Yes. Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Oh uh, yeah, sure. My faith holds for yes, very firm. Yes, you're tarnished through and through. <laughs> Takes me back. That's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? Sure. All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. All right, he teaches you skills. Battle arts. Endure. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. Parry. No skill. Grants affinities to an armament. The no skill. I always wanted to grant a no skill to my weapon. Storm blade. Quick step. Impaling thrust. The upward cut. Kick. War cry and spinning slash. He knows quite a lot. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle. Lost and died. A fine tale. All told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword. And the arts of combat. This guy it fell in love with the sword. To falling mm. in battle. To death itself. Not Good for you. in your boat, eh? <laughs> well, there's no rush. Knowledge mm. of the arts can wait another day. Alright, I'm gonna rest. I'm being told there's a secret boss that shows up around here. It's probably one of those uh, cavalry guys, I bet. Night cavalry. Oh. I don't see him. I see a guy walking around over there, but I don't see anything else. Can I pass time tonight? Let's see here. Well, it's windy as fuck. And I see a deer. But that's about it. He's still here, but I don't see anything else. Nah, just the generic dude over there, right? Yep, that's the generic guy. You know, now I can see the road better. Maybe it was just the lighting at the time. I couldn't see it. But now I can see the road. <clears throat> okay. Keep passing tonight. He'll appear in the shack. What? I'll try one more time, but if you guys are digging with me, I'm not going to fuck around with this. What the hell are you talking about? Okay. King did a super chat saying, Microsoft offers me an Xbox Series X bundle for 600 Controller, Valhalla, and three-month ultimate, is it worth it? I mean, if you absolutely want the console, yes. Right? 
I mean, you probably don't care about Assassin's Creed Valhalla at this point, but you probably want the controller, and there's no reason to not get Game Pass Ultimate. It's insanely good. So I think I guess that sounds pretty worth it, right? Asymmetric just did a super chat. Said, I've been watching you since the old Dark Side Phil YouTube channel around the Red Fashion Gorilla playthrough. Nice to see how far you've come. Thank you very much. Asymmetric ah, super chat. I appreciate that. Ah, Thank you for watching for so long. Ah, ah, here we go. Okay, pass time again. Just keep passing. I think this is gonna work. I don't know. A whale. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what you guys mean. I don't see anything. And I'm not gonna waste too much time on this if the guy won't show. Whatever you're talking about, All right? <laughs> guys, I don't know. There's nothing here. I give up. If anyone actually knows how to do this, let me know. There's nothing here. This is a waste of my time right now. Okay. What, what do All I right, do? Follow the road. What the hell? I crushed a skull. Just, just running. Now you see now the road's what, hard to what see. What do I man. do? $110 and what is this, like a cents. checkpoint or something? From PayPal. Oh, not really. Go right through it. Looks like someone had too much chili at Wendy's. Wow, you're terrible. Whoa! Oh. Uh, pretty sure that wasn't supposed to happen. I'll just go right through it. Fuck him. What was that jingle? $16.51. From what the fuck? How did I just take that much damage? What the fuck? Why am I taking this much damage? This guy's not a boss. I can't even move right now. I don't fuck have off, money to do it. Man. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. Yo, this I don't is have so money to do it. I don't have money to do it. These are low-level enemies and they're comboing me and I can't get out of it. They just keep hitting me. Here, fuck off. Right, shot, fly, Did I get one? Oh, I can't even tell. Oh, 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 yeah, this is really stupid. Here, fuck this. Take this. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, you were really tough. That was just dumb. Oh, I got a helmet. Godric Knight helmet. Oh. That could be good. That was incredibly stupid. The only reason that that was challenging is because the dogs can infinitely overwhelm you. Like, I couldn't get away. That was really dumb. I wonder if the helmet's any good. Scrubbed out away, and he did not nope, that you heavy load. It's better than what I have, but it would give me heavy load, so fuck that. All right, that was stupid. The, the spell did good. The spell killed two of the dogs at once, which was nice. Oh, now, oh, you know what? I've already been there. Probably he's going to point to the Death Touch Catacombs, which I've already been to. Um. <clears throat> All right, so I'm supposed to cross the bridge. If I can find it. <laughs> yep, this is the right way. Hello? Huh? Can you hear me? Who the hell's that? I'm stuck. Oh, no. Hello? Uh, hold on. There's a save point here I haven't done yet. Let me touch it. And I'll go see who this asshole is. There's another one of the pumpkin head dunces on the bridge there. Hello? Alright. Guts, I don't know when we're doing the Lost Judgment DLC. If we'll ever do it, I don't even know. Uh, if it's something that I own or not. No, I'm not really worried about it right now. Today's been incredibly slow. Get up there. Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, it's a guy in the pot. No way. 
The Ziggy I never found here. this guy yet. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Help him out. My thanks. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop the <laughs> oh. Ooh, we're gonna eat it! We're gonna eat it! Hey, eat the height! Oh, no, there's no need to fret. I'm very well so Give it your all, I say. Come on. Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. I'll pop clean out. I'm sure of it. Come on. So if you're going to be an asshole, you're going to be treated like an asshole. You're going to be shown the door. <laughs> Triumphant delight. Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I... <laughs> and as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have... I pulled it out of my ass! Oh, thanks for this exalted flesh you pulled out of your butthole. I really appreciate Once again, that. pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. <laughs> Iron Fist Alexander. I... Journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. Okay. Beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot blighted Kaelid wilds. I have been there. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. We saw that castle. I've we got a, a bonfire right near it. Before. <clears throat> Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> Okay. Gout, 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 gout. Fatty, fat, fuck, fuck. I'm heading eastward to Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet rot blighted... I guess I can find him there now. Maybe even at the I bonfire I've unlocked. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so that's it. Anything over here? Yeah, just a lake with, uh... Just a lake with the octopus dude. Which seems pretty identical to all the other ones I fought. any different. I don't think there's anything else over here. I'll just double check. I don't think there's anything else over here. Turtle. Nope. There's another giant. Another soulmates. Nothing special. Nope. Okay. We'll continue following the road, which is what we were doing. Okay. Alright, well that was cool. We unlocked the NPC I had never found before. And hopefully he'll, he'll have a quest line now. In Kaelid, when we go there, which we will be going to eventually, <clears throat> I, I have the fast travel there and everything. <clears throat> Fun. There's the uh, the flask rejuvenation. I don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. He's not even looking. <clears throat> Interrupted me not looking at me. He's so dude, I'm sorry, these cash are so stupid. He's not even looking at me. That did some pretty good damage. Of course he interrupted it. It looked cool, so he had to interrupt it. Oh, I got my flash back. I got this stupid helmet. Are you serious? <laughs> I got his dumb fuck helmet. <clears throat> oh my god. Look at this stupid thing. Oh my. It weighs 12 pounds. It's absolutely ridiculous. Flash sounds like ack, ack, ack. The inside of the helmet is pitch black, keeping the crazed warrior within from panicking. Perhaps it's rather like, roomy interior helps alleviate ack, ack, feelings of pressure no, and claustrophobia. Like oh my god. All right.
An anonymous dollar fifty tipper says, "I think from software doesn't expect anyone to do the quest in Souls games. Just stumble upon Stop it accidentally it. and share details with friends. I like it. It makes it feel more meaningful rather than completing a checklist." I mean, I don't know how in the holy hell you would just find it naturally. Seriously, without a checklist. I don't know how you would find the vast majority of the, the side quests in this game. Or any FromSoft game, for that matter. Okay. Limgrave. Yes, I know. So, now we're finally on the right track to where I want to go. A new vendor, and he's he's playing um another instrument. Cool. Hello. Oh dear. You might I terribly sorry. Uh you here as a customer. So, uh, no, I appreciate your playing. Pickled turtleneck, a cracked paw, a nomadic warrior's cookbook. This is pickled turtleneck, poison bone <laughs> arrow, poison bone arrow flesh, and poison bone bolt. No, I don't want that. Flame chariots. I don't even know what that is. A bandit's mask. A bunch of junk. Nah, he's everything I want. <clears throat> Nothing that suits your taste. Uh, no thanks. Know. I tried though. I'll give you a shot. But you're kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. Alright, so here we are. And, uh. I guess we could look around a little bit before we head straight to the building, see if there's anything around here. Any enemies or items? Looks nice, but I'm just curious if there actually is anything over here of any uh, importance. Why am I uh, why am I glowing yellow right now? What's up with that? A little weird, no? I don't know why I'm glowing. It's the tower we've already been to to charge up the room. <clears throat> Hobo X says, I think the notes and vendors what, what do I you, do? Uh, hints at where outside content is. Yes, what, what I, do I, do I do believe that. You can actually go all the way down. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can go down to the very, very bottom of the water there. Although, I don't know if there's... Oh, I do see a cave. I think there's an optional cave down there. If I if I go down. Why am I uh, toxic? But I don't think I'm supposed to. Maybe I am. Yeah, I see it. I definitely see a cave down there at ground level. See it? You think I can fall without dying? Oh, so this is a at night. Apparently, these golden leaves that are coming off the Erd tree buff the amount of I need those, that money. I really do. I need that money. Now, this looks too I steep. Bills. I don't think I can survive the fall here. Shit. It sucks. There's definitely a cave Look right at there. Them. Look uh, at them. Come on. You well, fuck. Maybe the other way. <clears throat> And There's no way down here. No, PayPal. no way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ow. Do I think chat's giving me too much advice right now? Chat's giving me advice right now? Really? Oh, shit. Master Zen says you have a new spell that reduces fall damage. He's absolutely right. The Assassin's Approach. Maybe I could drop down using that. Forgot all about it. Nah, I'll There's probably still die if I fall down here. It looks like way too steep of a fall. Kevin, I'm not dropping Horizon. The more you say it, it's they're just wasting your time. I'm near the end of Horizons. Like, story-wise, we're getting there. Like I said, we're entering, like, the final third of the game. Why would I drop it now? Oh, God. They're singing. The crucified enemies are singing. There we go. Yeah, I don't think they're having a, too much of a good time up there. <clears throat> the screams of agony. Oh my god. Alright, I could drop down here. Yeah, this isn't so far. Uh, I took a little damage. That's not that bad. So now I could probably scale down the graves. <clears throat> Although
Although why in the holy hell there's graves on the cliffside, I have no idea. Lock and load, little there lizard. Are. see another way to jump and not take damage at this point. I landed on the tree and broke my fall. Okay then. Feel your levels so this way, where the cave was. All the way down. No way! Are you shitting me? It's a dead end? Oh, I've already been here. It's a dead end. So this is not how you get down to the beach then. This sucks. I gotta jump back up. I've been here before? Yeah, I have. Because I already took the painting there. Oh, this sucks, man. This sucks because I can't figure out how to do this. Like, you could definitely see a cave down there. Well, what, I can't find I a way to just drop down and not die. You know, well, let's go back to Saints Bridge. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Ugh. There's no. Uh, fuck it. I say. I guess fuck it. I guess we're not gonna do the. Uh, we're not gonna do the optional K. A sanctuary stone? I don't even know what that is. I think I have them, though. Yeah, I guess we're not doing it. I see a cave down there, but I can't find a way to, to safely go down, so fuck this. We'll just keep going and do other shit. <laughs> you know? I guess you don't have to do every optional thing. It sucks. I see when I want to do it. Like, how the fuck do I get down there? I don't, do I want to waste an hour trying to figure out? It's probably underleveled for me anyway. Like, what's the point? I'll just keep following the road to where we're going. So undead are raising around me. I'm just ignoring them. Look, they're trying to hit me. There's a dead person. Yeah. I don't really see much. I'm gonna head over here quick. Over there, see if there's anything on these ruins. I don't think so, though. Nah. There's nothing over here. Couple ruins with nothing really near it that I can see. Nope. It's empty. Empty part of the map. They didn't even put anything on it. It's weird. They forgot to put shit there. Another side of grace. Whoa, there's something interesting there. Okay. Destiny Warrior did a super chat. Is exploring kind of boring or is it exciting? Finding, you know, uh, to find weapons and armor around. It's, I'd say it's fun. But, but what I'll definitely say is this. I, I feel like I've been in this area for so long now. Game, I'm following following over 25 hours into the game. With me. Like, I want to do new stuff, but they put way too much content in these areas that if you miss it, it's important, you know? Like, that's what people are telling me. Like, you got to do this. If you don't, it's, you're going to miss shit that's super important. But I do feel like there's just too much. Like, why is there so much early on? I want to go do other shit. And I'm being told you have to check this stuff out. If you miss it, you're missing out on critical shit, you know? So we got to keep exploring. The Summon Water Village. Okay. Hi. Keep your scythe to yourself. Oh, 
Oh, where'd you come from? And he came out of the ground. Cool. So this is definitely something important. Another dragonfly. Oh, that's another recharge thing. I don't really care about that. Saw stuff over here, and this is obviously, yeah, this is where we're supposed to go, see? Oh, what is that? What the fuck is that? The Tibia Mariner. Damn, I beat his ass. Is he gonna do anything? He tried to slam the boat. This guy sucks. He's terrible. He finally hit me once. He did like zero damage. Then he killed his own summons? What the fuck kind of shit boss was that? <laughs> he literally just sits in the boat. Right? You didn't even do anything. Death Rue. Wait, is this a rare item? Skeletal Militiaman Are you a Ashes. Retard? I have to ask. He doesn't even do anything. He just sits in the boat and gets his ass beat. He didn't even attack. He once he raised the water and he summoned minions that he then killed. He killed his own minions. <laughs> what a great boss. Oh, very intimidating. Uh Skeletal Militiaman. These are the spirits of militiamen who live in death. They'll continue to rise again until properly finished off. This is the grotesque fate of those who come into contact with the death root, which we just got. I think the death root is some kind of a very important item, but I don't know what it does actually. Blah, blah, I already blah, had blah, it. Blah, yeah, I have two now. Beast clergyman Wait, are we looking for the beast clergyman? I think we are. And that's who we're headed to. That's who is supposed to be over here. That's supposed to be the beast clergyman. So. Okay, what is this called? This is called Summon Water Village. Okay. There's something here we didn't go to yet. Alright. Is there anything else here? Like, I feel like that was completely underwhelming. Uh. A mushroom. You fucking get me a mushroom? There's a bunch of these undead guys, but man, they're a waste of time. They suck. What's this? Nothing? A grave with nothing. I don't want to fight them. They suck. A, a level one smithing stone. Yeah, this place is terrible. An insanely easy boss that just rose ins insanely slowly in a circle and you just fucking wail on him. He doesn't even hit you. <laughs> what a challenge. But again, remember... Apparently, this was supposed to be early game. I was supposed to come here before I did the castle. So maybe it would have been more challenging if I wasn't doing so much damage. And maybe it would have taken longer to kill him. I don't know. I don't know, but look what we just found. Now I'm only down to two stone sword keys. I already spent fucking three this stream. Turtles. A whole bunch of turtles. Hello. How you guys doing? Got a nice little turtle party down here? Could this be a dog? Oh, definitely. Wait a minute. I can't see. That's better. I wonder how much uh, my heal actually heals for. Alright, treasure chest. Let's see what we get. A green turtle talisman. All right. What is this? W what do I do? Raises stamina recovery speed. It's heavy, though. It's a heavier talisman. Turtles are known as a nutritious ingredient, symbolic of inexhaustible power. However, those who hold turtles w to be what wise do I do? consider the practice of eating their meat to be barbar barbarous. I agree. I wouldn't want to eat a turtle. They're cool. Turtles are super cool creatures. <laughs> they live a long-ass time. And they're very friendly. There's absolutely no reason to ever hurt a turtle. Aw, is this guy okay? 
Oh yeah, there's his head. That's alright. Alright, well, stamina recovery speed, it's not really an issue. But I got a talisman for it now if I want it. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I think what we should do, head southeast, and we've got both this sending gate and another building here. Two different things to check out. We're gonna go on break soon, everyone, just so you know. <laughs> So, oh, graveyard. All right, cool. Let's drop down here. Probably some runes. Yep. Grab some runes. What an incredibly challenging boss. The ferryman that rows in a circle and splashes some water and kills his own summons. Very, very da dangerous. <laughs> that was definitely the easiest boss in the game, right? Absolutely, that was the easiest boss. Even if I was under-leveled, I feel like that would have been the easiest boss in the game. I don't know how that would have been challenging. The guy didn't even do anything. I think I see a giant up there, straight ahead. That's the road to Kalid right there. If I had kept following it, it would have taken me into Kalid. See that? So it's funny as I've already been here, I, I got the map, and I rode through a bunch of this stuff, but I never went to this area. I actually went down this way to that, the impassable Great Bridge. I think this is where the pot, the giant pot Alexander was talking about. <clears throat> All right, so I should head, yeah, keep heading southeast here. Do you want to play the fucking game? Alright, there's a way to jump up right there if you want to. But I don't feel like we want to. I feel like we want to. Wait, what? Oh, there's a wolves just sitting there. I didn't even notice those were wolves. They didn't look like wolves at first. They looked like pieces of wood or something. <clears throat> okay. Tiger, tiger! Another big boy bro, down there. Bro, tiger, bro, bro. That is where we're headed, right there. Yup. And then it says the sending gate is to the left of it. But I feel like we should go to the building first and see what it is. Uh, I'm going to take damage if I drop here. Let's let's lose some elevation first. I see a sparkly guy down there, but I don't know if that's one of the ones that recharges your FP. Or if that's one of the ones that will actually teach you, like, an ability. I guess we'll find out. Oh, Ash of War Sacred Blade ability. Cool. It's kind of weird that some of those are invisible and some are just blatantly out there, right? Okay. Oh, really? I'm being told if it's you jump pretty into slow. a Not gonna lie. <clears throat> okay. That basically it, it negates fall damage if you land in the wind tunnel. But you have to be in it. Okay, I didn't know that. So not only do they jump you up, but they actually help you land too. What's this over here? Oh, what the hell? Lock and load, little what lizard. What on earth is this? Oh. There's a teleportation gate. Well, I wonder where it takes you. I kind of don't want to mess with that yet. It's definitely a sending gate. Oh, that's... Oh! That's where it says to go. Okay. Shit. Let's check this out first. And then we'll go there. But by the way, it's almost break time. I got pissed really bad. I'm holding it in right now. I'm pinching it off. <laughs> I'm pinching off my piss. Third Church. Oh, cool. Third Church America. Oh, there's a whole bunch of shit here. Okay, wait a minute. Does this mean I'm going to get a sacred tier? Yes. Oh, my God. My healing is going to be even better. This is going to be broken now. Broken levels of healing. All right. Okay, uh, let's reinforce the flask. Uh, 
Jeez. It's going to be 100% of my health at this point. You know why? Because I never upgraded my health. I think I only upgraded it like once or twice. Ah! So my health is like really low compared to most people playing. And then Stop we're going to go to that teleportation gate, go there, and, and go from there. Cool. Alright, guys. So here's the deal. It's time for our break. I have to use the restroom anyway. Let's go on break. When I come back, there'll be two more hours of Elden Ring on the stream. Now, I do have a favor to ask you guys. Alright? If you are going to support the streams today, please tip me. I really need help with tips to pay bills right now. Okay? I need those, that money. And, uh, I really do. I right now, we're money. at $34 in tips. Bills. It sure would be great if we get some of the goals, if not all the goals, when I get back from break, all right? It'll be two more hours of, of Elden Ring action. We're definitely getting to new stuff today. I know you guys are like, oh, you're still in Limgrave. We're not going to be here forever. We're definitely going to be going to newer stuff on this stream, okay? All right, guys, I will see you in just a bit. Thank you, and I'll see you in a bit. Awesome.
Oh no. Thank you. 
Ziggy Piggy's back. Instant. All right, guys. As promised, I'm back from break, and it's time for two more hours of Elden Ring, and hopefully. It's time to head to new areas. It looks like we're finally going to do the important stuff in East Limgrave, which means we can move on to the other areas of the game past the castle after this little bit right now, okay? So, thank you for being patient. I'm back. I hope you guys are ready for more Elden Ring fun, new areas, new excitement, right? So, uh, thank you to everyone who's chilling with me. Thank you to everyone who has engaged with the stream. And what I mean by that is we have over 130 likes already, with two more hours of gameplay to go. So thank you guys very much for that. I would very much appreciate it. If you are watching the stream and you're enjoying it and you're having a good time, please give it a like. The engagement absolutely helps here on DSP Gaming to have people discover the channel. Um, <clears throat> thank you to everyone who contributed so far today. The latest super chat was Destiny Warrior. Today's been incredibly slow. Kevin Bernstein did another one. Look at that. He said, 13 years of streaming. Wrong. I only streamed since 2013, so I guess you could argue nine years of streaming. Um, let's pray for 13 more to come. Now, that is a sentiment I can get behind. Yes, that is correct. I would say I would love to be doing this for 13 more years. Thank you, Kevin. Let's get you up on the leaderboard as the latest Super Chatter. And Super Chats are pretty good today, I would say. Thank you guys for that. Um, oh, my nose itches all of a sudden. Ah, there we go. Um, as for tips, right now, top tipper is G Dizzy. We're at $34 of tips. I just received a $6.66 tip from Dan the Man, who says, Hey, Phil, what is going on, Dan? It's good to see you. Thank you for the tip. Thank you for that silly, flaming-ass animation. That gets us up to $40 in tips. Our first tip goal, 50 which is Gunner Glasses. Second is $100, where you guys get to pick a hat for me to wear. And, of course, the full goal is Vest. Now, I really hope, really hope that we can hit the full tips goal today. I actually really need the help right now for bills over the next couple of days. So, again, if you guys are enjoying the ring over the next couple of hours, and if you can contribute, please consider tipping. That's really what I need help with right now, okay? Um, <clears throat> all right, cool. Now, during the break, I received a $25 tip from One Minute Man. So, let's go ahead and add that. The running total, and incidentally, that is the biggest tip so far today. And that's going to get us up this to $65 me. in tips, which means, yes, we have hit the Gunner Glasses goal. So let me get those on. And now we're working towards the hat goal. Also, Timothy57 Tim has tipped $5. He says, Phil, Phil, is it true that's what they say about Souls games? The bigger the sword, the bigger the dong. Um, Well, yes. If you use a ginormous sword in Souls, it actually means... Well, let's think about it. There are large weapons in Dark Souls, but they're not swords. Like, for example, there's giant clubs. I'm using a giant halberd. I don't really think those mean it. But if you do insist on using a humongous gladius, if you don't know the Latin word for sword is gladius, and also the Latin word for penis is gladius. I don't know if you knew that. It's the same word. In Latin, they actually felt that basically your sword was kind of an extension of your manhood. And when you use it in combat to fell your enemies, you're showing you're exuding strength, testosterone level. You know what I'm saying? Like the manliest of men were the ones who killed the most in combat with their giant gladius. So, um, I guess you can argue that the bigger the sword, the bigger the, the dong. It makes sense. At the very same time, perhaps... If you are someone running around with an insanely huge gladius, that perhaps it's because you actually have a little small one and you're trying to overcompensate. Much like people who drive around with cars with giant noisy mufflers, you know, flashing lights and stupid decals, usually have incredibly small penises and they're trying to get noticed in another way because they don't get attention from the lady. I'm just saying. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. Thank you for the $5 tip. Timothy 57 yes, Tim, I appreciate boy. that very much. And that we're right. gonna make love to each so other. I guess the tonight. question would be, what about real life Dumas? Does he have I a large Hulk gladius? Because he's dead. not using a gladius. So I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure, honestly. Alright, guys, thank you for the support. We're gonna resume again. It would be really great if you're gonna support today if you could tip. Hitting these tips goals. I really need the help right now to pay bills this week. 
So if you could, please do, and thank you in advance. And now it is time to play the game. Excuse me. So if you're going to be an asshole, <laughs> okay. you're going to be treated like an asshole. You're going to be shown the door. Comfy here. Okay. All right, guys, I'm OBS error. Fucking fucker fuck. Let's try that again. All right, guys, I'm back from break, and we're going to see what is this really weird-looking glowing item. It doesn't look like a normal item. If you can see the aura coming out of it, it's pretty unique. So I get the feeling this is going to be an important item. Let's see. Behold a precious item. Seems familiar. Visions of parrying. If this is a fucking flower, I'm going to be pissed. The Flask of Wondrous Physic. You can find crystal tears at the bases of minor Erd trees. We found some of those already. And elsewhere throughout the lands between. At Sites of Grace, you can mix two crystal tears in the Flask of Wondrous Physic. This allows you to create elixirs with various custom effects. So I found a crimson crystal tear in the Flask of Wondrous Physic. So first of all, do I have to equip the Flask of Wondrous Physic? No, it's auto-equip. Okay. Bestows various special effects. I removed it by accident. I'm re -equip it. I didn't mean to do that. Um, can I look at the description of it? Uh, remove switch view. Simple. Oh, shit. I didn't even know you could do that. You split the camera to see what your item looks like. What, what do I do? All right, let me fucking look at it in this, this, this menu instead. Relic of the Physic Chemist Priests of the Erd Tree. Harness the power of crystal tears which only form after the passage of many moons. Various special effects are now bestowed upon the drinker. Dependent on the specific mixture of crystal tears, the rest at a site of grace to replenish. So this sounds to me like you can only get, drink it once per resting. See? Now I wonder if there will be other ways to replenish it, much like there's a way to replenish your flask, your healing flask, outside of resting. Like killing those bugs or killing a mob of enemies. I wonder if there's another way to, to replenish this during exploration. But it sounds like it's one and done. Okay, various effects are bestowed upon the drinker dependent on the specific mixture of crystal tears. Uh, ba basins are placed at the feet of minor earth trees throughout the lands between in order to collect crystallized tears. So let's see. Uh, mix your wondrous physic. Now, we've already done some of the minor earth trees, so let's see what we can do here. With this menu, you can mix two crystal tiers in the Flask of Wondrous Physic, and it allows you to create physics with various custom effects. So we have... Restores half of your total what, HP. What do I do? Steadily restores HP for a time. Temporarily boosts stamina. Temporarily boosts faith. Enhances charged attacks for a time. Significantly negates damage. Oh... I'm absolutely using that one. I would say those two are the best. Yeah. So basically, get ma massive extra defense, roll towards the boss, charge, and do a supercharged uh, charge attack. That sounds like what I want. I don't care about the extra healing. I mean, maybe in some cases the stamina will be better or faith. But for now, I think that sounds great, right? So, reduced damage and enhanced charge attack. That sounds exactly like what I want. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. So, there it is. So, right before a boss fight, I might want to chug that run in okay. and go for a charge attack. Okay. Fair enough. All right, well, All now right. we got something neat and different. Cool. I'm glad that I got that. I have to try it out. And, of course, now we have actual incentive. To try to get to the base of the minor Erd tree. So far, we've done two. Yeah, we did one down here. And we did one right here. Pill, and that's if you it. take a look we're at the map, waste our time there's again. actually another one to the northeast in Kalid. Right there. Now, I don't know how fucking crazy Kalid's gonna be. Maybe we should do it. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe it's a bad idea. I don't know. Um, but before we do that, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're definitely gonna do this sending gate and see where we go.
find out. <laughs> Grails Dragon. Oh, oh. I don't know if this make this guy I didn't jump back. I, but at the same time I kinda wanna find a save point. It's Dark Dave's fault. Some interesting statues. It's Super Hound's fault. Who do you think I am, a puss? It's Tevin's fault. Guy first. He's a Copper, beast. copper, copper, copper. Fuck you, copper, copper. There. Well, hello you. there. Hand over some death roots. Talk to him. There's okay, I guess we'll hand over some death fucker on the internet called Super Hound. Hand over the fuck this we'll idiot's name is. Whisper it. Death. Feeding me. Tarnished. Bring more death. I shall grant thee. Bestial Sling and Claw Mark Seal and a Beast's Eye. I got three items. Oh, wow. I have no idea what any of that is. We'll have to give it a look. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, Emil H has tipped me 57, excuse me, $54.74. Thank you so much to Emil for a very generous tip, the biggest tip of the day. I don't know why it's $54.74. Maybe it's a, a currency conversion. Very well, it could be. Thank you, Emo. Now we gotta do some math here. 54 plus 70 would be 124, all right? Which means number one, we have hit our hat goal and you guys are gonna get to vote on a hat for me to wear for the rest of today's stream. And number two, it means we are almost to the full tips goal of 150. We're almost there, sweet. So let's go ahead. Which hat is Elden best? We'll do Cowboy, Pilot, Pikachu. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of Pilot and let's do Viking, Pikachu, and of course, R.L. Dumas Helmet. So Cowboy, Viking, Pikachu, and the R.L. Dumas Helmet. Okay. Darzy X says the Clarmark Seal could be a better choice for my build. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's see. Those items he just handed me. Uh... What is this? Raises your focus? What the fuck is that? Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believe the horns of long lived beasts continue to bud like antlers over and over again. Focus governs resistance to sleep and madness. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Oh. So I was using this, the Dragon Communion Seal. This is the claw mark seal okay so sacred seal granted by garonk the beast clergyman that's who this guy must be a rare trinket which allows incantations to be scaled with strength the claw mark represents garonk's wrath enhances bestial incantations learned from garonk yeah see this is just about dragon community so this will actually make my incantations get better with a strength okay i should equip that you're right that's going to be better it's gonna scale. Okay. Oh, now, here we that go. Disgusting now he's talking about WWE champions. So he's a piece of shit. You piece of donkey shit. How about this? How about this? 
WWE it champions. Is. Said the tremble right. when close to death root? WWE champions. They said the tremble when you're a death root. The murky violet virus head. rise as if alive. I don't I am think not about WWE champions. More death. You do. So I think he actually you gave us his eyeball. You probably know the fucking game than I ever yeah. will. Because you're and an I idiot. It, you're if an you, obsessed. Maybe you have to equip it and vibrate when you're actually near death to give him. So it sounds like he's going to give me some good items in time. Let's change this out to this one. So now my incantation should be better. No secret passage, so praise this message, you asshole. Oh, uh, all right, well, let's rest, and I want to fight that enemy. Seriously, I do. I want to fight this fucking thing. I want to see what happens. Oh, you gave me a new incantation? Okay. I did. Can someone please shut up this dude who's being a, a moron? Hold on. The Bestial Sling. Swiftly flings a number of sharp rock shards. This incantation can be cast without delay after performing another action. It is said that in the time before the Erd Tree, stones were the first weapons of the beasts who had gained intelligence. So, it only costs seven, and he says you could do it during a combo. So you like hit, hit, and then cast it fast. Well, who knows if it's any good, right? I don't know. All right, so I'll tell you exactly what we're gonna fucking do. We're gonna walk right out this door, all right? We're gonna get my flask of wondrous, wondrous physic. I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna fuck this guy up, you ready? Uh. Oh. No! Not him! Ah! Oh, wait! I'm heavy! And calm. I'm not the seal was heavier or something. I don't know. Something's up. We gotta figure this out. Yeah, how the f something over encumbered. You don't want anything, do they? No. What the hell over encumbered me? The physic? No, this has no weight. What the? <laughs> I don't understand. This seriously over encumbered me in fucking 1.5? You've gotta be fucking shitting me. <laughs> Why did that fucking over encumber? Oh my god, that is ridiculously stupid. I mean, is it could I possibly swap out for a slightly lighter hat or something? Here. It says still heavy. See if I put on like some shitty hat. <laughs> One of the shittier hats. Or maybe one of the shittier gloves. The leather gloves, yeah. I'm trying to see what would reduce... What wouldn't affect my, my poise that bad. Probably the helmet is the biggest...
The aristocrat ah. power. Ah. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Aha. The aristocrat's cowl. I don't Oh no, someone's illegally restreaming you. Oh no. I'll try a couple more times. He's insta kill you every time it's he hits you. Dark Dave's oh, fine. to do about that. Right? I mean, there's no point in even healing. I guess that's what we'll do. A whale! Oh, that's cool! What if there were no boundaries? The tiny little guy. The bestial sanctum. Oh, really? Black Ops says that must be a bug he's supposed to aggro. Oh, he's bug. But if you hit him, then he unsticks, I guess, right? Yeah, look, he has an aggro. Can I cheese him out and just keep bait hitting him? No. Yeah. No. He probably is going to follow me now. Watch. He's going to follow me all the oh, way no, down so the hill. Oh, no. Oh, no. These guys come out of the ground. Yeah, it's the same rock stuff that we saw in other places in Kaelid. I don't think he's following. What? <laughs> nope. We. We got rid of him. <laughs> I'm just looking. I don't see any items or anything. I thought maybe I could grab some late game items here. Oh shit! Never mind. Look what I just found. Well, yeah. Don't mind if I do take this uh, golden seed. That's just sitting right there in the open. Thanks. Cool. Looks like the real life Dumas helmet is winning. The pull dramatically here. 
And we got a side of gray. Sweet. Let's go ahead and unlock this one. Oh, look what we got on the bridge. A fucking dragon. There's a dragon standing right there. <laughs> Maybe we can kill him. Probably not. He'll probably one-shot us, too. Cool. Okay. So, real-life Dumas Shit. moment. Let's hit that. Okay. Blame Black Blade Kindred knows about Black Flame Blade. That's why he's OP. Oh. Alright, he's got to come off, guys. Like I said, this actually just hurt the sides of my head if I do wear the glasses with this particular hat. So those have to come off. Alright. <laughs> Cool. A fucking dragon. The bridge. I wish the map was here. There's no map in this area. The map, there's a map way over there. Do you think if I grab that map, it'll actually populate this area? I wonder. Maybe I should just go grab it. Yeah, you know what? I just, I'm curious. If I go over there and I grab that map, will it populate this new area? All right. Let's find out. That's just this way, right here. So, behind me. How the fuck do I get that way? Remember, we never came out. This is the other end of the well from last time. We never explored this way. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hi. He's glowing. There's a ginormous pot right there. Look at the size of him. Oh shit. Oh, this is not right. Where am I right now? I don't know. I can't I can't open the map to see. There's a ginormous pot sitting right there. His arms folded. But I can't get to the map part. Yeah, it's not here. Ah, oh, shit. This sucks. They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole. Because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. I agree with you. Hmm. Can I talk to this dude? No, you can't. Oh, talk. You won't talk. You asshole. You won't talk to me. There's the map. So how the fuck? Oh, God, it's... Dude, look at the size of the skeleton on the wall there. Whoa, a humongous giant skeleton put into the side of the fucking cliffside. Jeez, that's creepy. So how in the fuck do I get up there to get to the map, man? I have no idea. No save point there. Luckily, the archer is a complete idiot, shooting his arrows into the tree. See? He's a dummy! Oh! You fucking piece of shit. Son of a 
little bitch. I got a giant paladin shield. The Ziggy Piggy's back. Giant paladin shield, it said. So this was definitely not the right way to go to get the map. That was a dead end. I guess we'll be exploring the other direction. All I want is the map. What, what do I do? All I want is the map. I don't know what you guys are talking about. One person says, I ignored the pot quest. I didn't ignore the pot quest. It, he didn't say anything. He was silent and didn't speak. Someone says, oh, yo, that talisman is so good. Early game. What are you talking about? What fucking talisman? What, what do I do? The talisman. Anyway, I guess we'll try this direction. I don't think this is going to get us to the map, though. It seems like this is a... a fruitless endeavor at this point. Why am I toxic? A demon bear. Oh, shit. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very... What? What? I survived. Somber Smithing Stone level 5. Can someone please shut up this dude who's being a oh moron? Oh my god. Well, you want to talk about some crazy shit? We've been here before. Yep. So this just got us back to kind of where we were earlier. It looks to me like the only way to unlock that map would be to come from a di completely different direction. Yeah, I'd have to come through the town of Sorcery and ride over there, which I really don't want to do right now. Funny coming back here. Yeah. All right. Fuck this. Back to we got we got so sidetracked. All right. Uh, last thing I, I kind of want to do would be I want to go back here, go through that village. There's one more building to check out, and then we can go on to where your lodges are supposed to continue. Yeah. So I'm gonna un unselect this just so this doesn't fucking confuse me. All right. Yeah. What I want to do, I just want to go to see this building. I want to see what that is, and then that's where we'll we'll end off for, for East Limgrave. And then what Hulk we'll do Hogan's is we'll go back dick. to the castle. And finally, yes, this much longer, we're going to go back to Godric the Graft and we're going to continue on into the game. Right now. Really? I'm being told the pot summons si signs for you to fight. When you beat five, you get a talisman. Okay. Well, I'm not doing that right now. Okay. So let us go straight. Straight across. I didn't come up here, did I? What is this? Whoa. Like an abandoned church? Fuck. Is there anything here? My last shot! Fly golden arrow! Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. He didn't die. What is the point of this? There's like church ruins, but there's nothing there's nothing to be anything here, right? That's it? A single golden rune is really all that's in here. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> well, 
How impressive. A single rune. Well, fuck that. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna go straight. Like I said, I wanna go to this building. And then that's gonna be it. And then we're gonna actually continue on where we're supposed to be. But I just wanna be sure I didn't miss anything here. Because this is gonna be the border between Limgrave and Kaelid here. I wonder if there's anything new or optional or stuff to check out. Here's that building. That right there, I think, is the border to Kaelid right there. Oh, here's a little uh, stone monument. Lord Godfrey, at last, at the end of his campaign, his Ooh. golden army is unvanquished and unbowed. He finds grace lost, tattered, and faded. Of course. Oh, boy. The sky just changed color. For a while, I got it. You take one step into to Kaelid, and the whole sky changes to red. Can I stop joking today? That's pretty fucking oh wild, God. huh? <laughs> ah. Ugh. Ugh. What the? F I don't know what's going on up the road there. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. Okay. Hold up. It's gonna clear up. I swear. <clears throat> Why is this on fire? Jesus Christ. Well, we got a smoldering Ugh. church. <clears throat> okay. And a save point. To feel better now. I was invaded by Anastasia. What the fuck is she doing? She fucking whiffed? What was that? Bullshit. She got a bullshit sword that's hitting me even though I'm, I'm getting out of the way, it's still hitting me. Stop this! That's what I did and mine didn't hit. Fuck you. Giant ass sword. So, I got the full calling finger and a sacred scorpion charm for that. Oh boy. <laughs> now, first of all, let's see what the, what the charm does. Scorpion's charm, it said? Where is it? Uh, where the fuck is it? Raises your holy attack, but lowers damage and negation, which is interesting because guess what? I use holy. Yeah, a talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen, patterned on a scorpion freshly shed of its exoskeleton, its claws seizing a heart with a blessed glow. Interesting. Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 14 and Missionary Cookbook 3. Okay. Anything interesting I can make here? I can craft something that makes fire damage negation. See that? You need a beast's liver to make that. Ugh. I don't know what robustness is, and I have multiple things to do robustness now. Boost your item discovery. All these different pots. Spawn vengeful spirits. All these different things you can put on your blade, right? Coat your armor, inflicting blood loss, inflicting poison, uh fire. Poison, blood loss. All these different bolts. Yeah, tons of different bolts. Still nothing of use, though. Seriously, this is the best thing right here. The thing that cures poison, although I have a spell for it now, so I might never use them. This will be important when I get these items, but I haven't found this sacra sacramental bud or crystal cave moss we don't have yet. So. Okay. Let's have a seat. All right, I can't level up. I only have uh, 4,000. That's a no-go. All right, I think this is a good opportunity. Let's just double check. I think this is a good opportunity to now continue on with where we're supposed to actually go, which we haven't done for the longest effing time, right? Actually, there's an Erd tree right up the road, but I guess we'll check that out later. Yeah, I think what we should do 
Let's actually go to where everyone expects you to go. This is right here. Continue on with the castle. Finally. It's only been like another 10 hours since we beat the castle. I think we're ready. Really? The whole area is optional. You don't have to go to Kaelid? Well, I'll go there. I definitely want to do it. I definitely want to go to Kaelid. <laughs> Alright, this is it. We haven't been here yet. What do we got in here? A big throne. Why is it always tarnished? That's where you go there. You can't go this way. Oh, you can go this way. What's over here? Secret ahead. Look carefully. Can't attack here. All you can do is roll. I don't know about that. Secret ahead. Look carefully. I don't think so. Sounds like bullshit. Look how dumb they are. You can't attack in here. So if there was an illusory wall or whatever, how would you open it? Roll into it? I don't know. I see nothing. I think this is a dead end. Okay. All right, guys. Let's continue on this way, which actually we had, remember we had stepped like a few feet into this and turned around so we didn't want to do it yet. We're finally doing it. We're finally continuing on in the game. Help me praise the message. Fuck you. The ladder now. Okay. Ooh. Oh. What's going on here? Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. What is this? A Sabrine, Sabriri grape? That does not look like a fucking grape. Oh, God. That looks disgusting. <laughs> uh, would it be a key item? Sabriri grape, yellowing, oozing eyeball of the infirm. <laughs> the surface is shriveled and the inside is squishy. Not unlike a large, overly ripe grape. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. Uh. Sure. We have a maiden that we that we talked to at the at the sites of grace. Is she blind? I don't even know. Is she fucking blind? She had at least one eye, right? I don't believe it, just getting started. Yeah, I'm like 25 hours into this game and we're just getting started. Here we are. So there's, aha, I was going to say, is there an indication of the map? Let's set that as our waypoint. I would love to get the map right away so we can tell what the fuck we're doing. Okay. All right, let's investigate everyone. Thank you guys for being a great audience. Thank you for your engagement and support today. Now the real game begins right now. Finally, enough bullshitting and dilly-dallying. It's time for us to get serious and explore the world. There's a wolf. What the hell are you talking about? Quiet, you. Everyone be quiet. Settle down. Anything over here? It looks like there's stuff here. Why else would you be able to walk all the way down here if there was nothing? Be weary of a pack? Oh, maybe there's more wolves? Turn back. I'm not turning back. I'm a man! Cause I'm a man, a man, man, yeah, you're a man, manly man. You're a man. 
visions of a wolf. Yeah, I see another wolf. That's oh. not a wolf. That's a, a wild creature. Why is it always dog? Wait. Oh. Aha. Praise a bright spot. Try rolling. Oh, God. There's stuff down there. Yeah, there's definitely shit down there. Uh, I don't want to go down there. I'll die. There's definitely optional stuff down there to do. Huh. We can go this way. La, 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 la. There you go. Here, here, listen to my beautiful singing voice. No, la, 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 la. That's death. You're on my own. Oh, really, my little man? Dude, I, like, your verticality here is so odd. Like, look, everything's crooked, so I can't really tell. <laughs> I guess I'm going really down low, Stop but I can't this. really tell because it's all crooked and shit. I could use my horse here if I wanted. I could use my horse You didn't die. Oh, I think I hear one of the sparkling bugs. Yeah, I hear it. I don't see it, though. Oh, down below here. Ah. Okay, we're going to go down there <laughs> and get that. What I see here is... Oh, wait. Are we on the... We're on the other side of the bridge. The broken bridge. Actually, no. We're at the end of that bridge. So I have to find a way down without dying. I mean, it's too—it's a very far fall here. A fat Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. What the fuck does that mean? Hidden path ahead. How cute! Look at this creature. Oh, it's cute. It's a combination of like a rabbit, a squirrel, and like a, I don't know, like a kangaroo. <laughs> That stupid little so here's how you shit. get down. Okay. There's the creature. There's also stuff over there. I don't know if you can climb the bridge or not. Let's uh let's go for the creature. Dung beetle smash! Oh fuck. Dung beetle poke! I got him. Okay, storm wall attack. So, I don't think there's anything else here. I think it was just that bug, huh? Looks like it. Do you want to play the fucking game? What it looks to me like is that... You can actually get across the bridge somehow. It was busted, remember? But I guess there's an item here that I hadn't seen. I wonder if it's anything good. Probably not. Probably junk. Yeah, so what I'm, what I'm guessing is... Tiger! Tiger! Row! 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 Tiger! Row! You do that from up top. How you do it, I don't know. Like, there's a way to drop down and get that item. But I guess... I mean, if this is, if this is what I'm thinking... Couldn't you have just done this early on and not fought Godric? Could you have fallen off the bridge and then walked all the way around and never fought and Godric? From Apple iTunes. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I think you could have completely skipped Godric. $16.51 yeah. from PayPal. Interesting. Yes, I'm being told, yeah, you could have skipped him. What the fuck? Is any one of the four major bosses... Or whatever. But he's skippable. <laughs> well, I mean, certainly I didn't think of that. When I was here. I mean, that didn't matter. I wanted to beat him anyway. But, okay. Well, now we'll go do go the other way. Interesting. Guys, it sure would be great if we could hit our final tips goal for the day. Uh, we are only about $26 away from that. If you are enjoying the stream, please consider tipping. That is what I need the most help with today. If you are going to contribute in any way, I need those, that money. I really do. I need but that thanks money. Thanks everyone who's been a very great audience. You guys have been awesome. 
Now what about the other direction? Wow, what Over a moron. One way is a shortcut back. Pay attention, or it could have been a shortcut here. Crystal Bud. Oh boy, I love smoking that Crystal Bud, baby. It's a, it's a sticky, icky shit. There is stuff over here. Look. Whoa, we found a church. What an idiot. Cool. I wonder if there's anything good here. Special delivery. Special delivery. Lurnia of the lakes. Or Lurnia. Lurnia of the lakes. That is hard to say. Seek a sorcerer. Church of Erith. Still no dung. Friend ahead? There's no one here. Oh, never mind. Okay, let me grab this first. Another sacred tier? Oh my god. I think the game's giving me a hint. I need to level up my health because I'm, my feeling's gonna fill my whole health bar for sure now. You're tarnished, aren't you? Nice then beard. Perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Glintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation... I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Just a nice, respectably small donation. Let's donate ten runes. Oh, bless you. Bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Tops. Tops with an H? I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Ha <laughs> ha He admits it. That's hilarious that he admits that the fucking sorceries suck. Glintstone Pebble, Arc, or Starlight? The. Okay. That's actually funny. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. All <clears throat> oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. It. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. No, but we could look. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. Hmm. After they declared <clears throat> they wouldn't interfere with the shattering. The Academy cast repelling seals on the East Gate leading to the capital, and the South Gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. Ah. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Where do you get a glintstone key? Ah! Oh, ah! And you never reach the ah. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps once you've tied up all your loose ends, <clears throat> and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? <laughs> I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Merely a hint of talent for sorcery, but still, my place is at the academy. So he's saying once you find a glintstone key and you use it to do everything you want, give one to him at the end, right? Now I'm curious, is that the key you would use to to get rid of magic <laughs> shields? Remember, over in Kalid, there's a city there with invisible enemies, but there's all magic shields everywhere, and I'm wondering if the glintstone key is what removes those. Okay, about Selen. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. What, what do I do? Something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen <clears throat> would never do such things. Okay, I guess we're done. For now. If we ever find the glintstone key and we use it throughout the game, when we're done with it, we can give it to him, and I guess that's a quest. Okay. Alright, that's the church. And this looks like a dead end, right? Like a wall behind it? Can you go around the church? From the outside? No, it's a complete dead end. See that? The wall? go up high it's also a dead end so this is the end of the world right here they definitely don't want you to go past that church that's considered kind of the boundary right there
Let's look around. Is that an item over there, maybe? Graveyard, probably someone dead there. What a gorgeous view. What a gorgeous view. Now, I'm wondering what that is. There's a castle out there. You can clearly see it on the map. But I don't know how to get to it right now. Um, and it doesn't seem to be clear how you get to it. Maybe you have to teleport. It certainly looks creepy. There's like a giant statue right there. It's a gold statue. And I'm wondering what it is, right? I don't know yet. There's got to be a way. Perhaps an optional way to get over there and check that out. But right now, that looks closed off to us. <clears throat> The gorgeous view. The Ziggy Piggy's back. La, la, la. All right, we got a little way we can go down there in a crevasse, or we can stay up top. La 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 la. What do we have up here? There you go. Here, listen to my beautiful singing voice. La 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 la. A dangler. Ah, you fucker. He's a tougher guy. He killed me? Jesus. Why does that one particular guy hit for so much? He doesn't even look he doesn't even look like a badass or anything. <laughs> what sucks is there's no uh side of grace over here. Aw oh, man, this blows. If I die I have to fucking go all the way back to the Stoneville Castle. There's gotta be another side of grace around here. That's some shit. That is some shit. Das Bojas says, keep in mind you're wearing trinkets that are going to dock you defense. You're right. And likely what I should do is start increasing my health. Probably a really good idea I'm now. Scared the virus. No. I'm not scared of the virus. No. I'm not scared of the virus at all. I'm scared of the repercussions of the virus. Sucks. Having I a fucking global scare for a year and no one could buy anything at a fucking health. store because of it. That's what I'm worried about. Alright, there's gotta be a site of grace around here. Oh, who's this? Yeah, boy, I completely missed it. It was right here. Now I feel stupid. Let's touch it. I completely missed it. Okay. Where was I? I was over there. That's where we're going to head again. So the map is down there in the middle of all this shit. Damn. It could be a while I get to that. It looks close, but man, it's it's pretty far off. All right, who's this jackass? Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. Oh, and God, is this the one who's the blind? You have the eyeball? I be so bold as to ask. Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? Yeah, I see. My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. When you eat a rotting you fucking eyeball. To my true duty as a finger maiden. I guess, what else are they for, right? I guess I'll go ahead and give it to them. Many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. So she'll probably, oh, as you wish. She'll probably you go off into the world indeed. and then we May find the her somewhere else. Yeah. Probably an ongoing quest line. Take okay. that as you will. And at least I got a revive point here now. Boy, I feel stupid for not finding that before. Let's go back to where we were and try that again. <clears throat> Why the hell was that guy so strong? stone. That's the guy right there. Where did he go? I can't even see him. Oh, there he is with the others. 
I can't see. Oh my god, what is this bullshit? Wow. Oh, a real fair fight. Can't fucking see anything. Dude, fuck this. This is dumb. That's completely stupid. Well, I got the item, the warming stone. I don't want to bother fighting them. Oh, yeah, so challenging. Oh, very challenging fight. Real fair. Yeah, I thought we were going to drop nothing anyway. Stay dead. He did. Where did he go? Uh, the fuck? Did he kill himself or something? I'm a pussy. I don't know. They're dead now. That was fucking obnoxious. Obnoxious enemies. I took them out. <laughs> oh, look at that. You can now see there's a little bridge. Sticking off of that island. You can see a little better from this direction. A lot of, a lot of big statues over there. It's Tevin's fault. Right. Well, I definitely want to do that later, but can't figure it out now. <clears throat> okay. There's another graveyard down there. There's a, cra a crevasse that you can go in. A little village down there with a, a little, uh, like, a fence around it. I probably don't want to drop from here, though. Probably go through the crevasse, and that's how you get down there. And that's how it is pronounced. It's crevasse. For those who don't know. An academy scroll. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Anything else up here? It doesn't look like it. It kind of looks like I need to go through that crevasse. Darziak, I don't have a spyglass. I never bought one. So I can't use one. There's definitely a higher up area over here if I drop down on these platforms. There we go. Go, 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 yes. go, go. Fatty, fat, fuck, fuck. You're expected to drop down slowly onto these platforms. Do you want to play the fucking game? Okay. Nice. You know, I must say, the platforming doesn't look like it's going to be smooth. It's actually pretty smooth in this game. I gotta compliment the game on that. It's, it's better than it looks. It looks like... This is going to be a shit fest, and it actually is really good. Better than a lot of other games I've fucking played recently. What do we got down here? Oh, God. What the fucking... Oh, come on. Here we go again with this. Speak of a shit fest, I can't move. Oh, oh, right. Very fucking realistic. Come on! Hit the fucking guy! He's right in front of you! Pissing me off. Grab some salt. Karian helm. <laughs> Seriously, PayPal pissing is me a off. Network of uh, interconnected banking institutions that use uh, a magnetic stripe receptacle uh, digitally online to transfer oh, I got a flash uh, funds story. from I one entity to another in a legal we got a big and guy monitored down here. capacity. I wonder where this leads. Uh, it is oh, this is the area we saw uh, from the, to the other IRS. End. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the optional area that we saw from the other end. We can go down here and do this now. 
This guy is probably much tougher than the other giants because this is a harder area now. Oh my god. Yeah, I need way more health. As you can tell, I barely have upgraded my health at all this playthrough. Because I wanted to focus on leveling, you know, strength and faith. And now what's happening is, I'm just taking monstrous damage from every single hit. needs to do the stagger ship and kill him like this. Spank his butt. Spank his butt with your giant spear. There we go. Nice. Nothing over there. Let's head this way. So there was a caravan here that got stalled. What do we got? The tree spear. Interesting. Tree spear. Heavy spear plus sep. Tree spear needs 22 dexterity. Golden spear with a tree-like design wielded by knights employed by palace guards at the royal capital of Landell deals holy damage, a, da a sacred spear. And it requires superior dexterity to wield. It performs consecutive thrust attacks despite the larger size. Needs faith of 18, 15 strength, and, and a higher dex. My dex is at what right now? 20? I'm close. Close to being able to use this. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Woo! Um, let's take a look here. Skill of the Golden Order Fundamentalist Knights. Perform a salute and grant the armament holy essence. Highly effective against those who live in debt. So basically, you enchant the spear with holy energy. That makes it really good against the undead. Got it. Seems like a pretty good spear. I might be able to use it with my build, too. So, I think that's it, because that's where I was before. Yep, that's where I was on the other side. So, now we've seen both sides of this bridge. Yep, that's it. We've seen everything. There's nothing down there. Now nah, we're good. All right, so we did it. We cleared, the, we cleared this area. We can move further up. I have the Talisman that increases health, stamina, and equip load, Skyline Rockstar. I have it equipped. I have that and the one that increases intelligence, uh... Arcane and Faith. I have both of those equipped. Those are the two I have equipped. Alright, onward. Yeah, I'm thinking I should start putting a lot of levels in, into Vigor now. Being that my Vigor is god-awful. Taking ginormous... Ginormous damage from every normal attack. So now we're probably going to be able to see off into the distance and start seeing new areas of the game right over here. Look at this. What the fuck is that? It's like a floating balloon. Yeah, look at this. So right there we've got a castle. Over there we've got look like um like almost like a, a mansion or manor out in the distance on a giant area there. We got another castle out oh, there. I don't even know what that is. It's very spiky, whatever that is. Here's a new tower. So that means if there's a tower. That likely means that there's a one of the, the big laugh, bosses like, ack, ack, in that ack. area because so the laugh, tower is where you unlock the rooms after you get a, a big boss, right? <laughs> Does that there's sound the like one we already ack, did ack, right ack, there. Ack, ack, so. No, it sounds nothing like that at all. All right, let's continue on. I think I just found a new point of grace. Sweet. Do I think this is the best Souls game? I'm not going to answer that question until I beat it. It's that simple. As you guys know, I still think Dark Souls 1 is the best, at least before I started playing this. Now I don't know. I'll let you know when I get further. Rest up. Not even close. And there's nothing else for me to do here, so good. Okay. It's been pretty slow. Alright, guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, one more hour of Elden Ring on today's stream. I hope you're having a good time with me. Thank you to everyone. Great views, great engagement, support is good, everything is good. If you would like to help out a little more, please tip me. Let's hit this final tips goal and see a vest for the final hour. We're so close. $26 away. Just a few people toss in a few bucks will hit it. All right? Thank you. Now, reminder. I don't have money to do it. I am playing. I don't have money to do it. 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 Tonight, that should be chill fun. There will be more Elden Ring tomorrow's mainstream. Okay? 
Cool. All right, guys. OBS error again. I don't know why OBS has been giving me so many errors. The, the homosexuals. Are uh, all right, we're gonna explore. We're passing we're around of grace, which is good. And what I think we should do is just head straight and see if we can get the map. I think the map would be a good, a good guiding. That's not what I did. I think the map would be a good guiding point for us. So the map is down there. But I think I'm in an elevated area. And I don't think I could just go down there if I wanted. I think I'm too high up. It certainly looks that way. It looks like if I had gone from up there through that crevasse, then I would have ended up down there. See that? But I kind of went a different direction here, higher up. So I guess we'll just keep investigating this direction and see what's over here. Hello, sheepy. There's some generic dudes walking around down there. They don't look too intimidating. Let's see what's over here. Oh, 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 oh! What the hell's going on? I can't hit the fucker. Stop fucking flailing arrows, you dumb shit. Didn't work. are annoying. Alright. Come on! Hit the fucking dog! You stupid idiot! What the fucking shit? Did that thing just shoot me? Something hit me with arrows, but I don't see any other enemies. What the- Wait, what? These idiots just strolled up. He just fucking strolled up the road and fucked me up. <laughs> Assholes. It's pretty annoying when they're right in front of you. All you want to do is hit them. And you just whiff a million fucking times. Like, dude, they're right in front of me. Just hit these fuckers. Oh, there's a lot of them here. No wonder. There's archers everywhere here. All right, fuck this. I'm just going to grab the, uh, grab my stuff and get out of here. my stuff so many archers right there how annoying and they fucking all hit me Jesus fuck annoying shitheads oh there's an area down there I can see it Yep, there's stuff down there. I don't know if you can walk safely on it or not. Maybe. You repeal. Another one of those. And that's uh, it. Because you're just going to waste our time. Sword again. monument things right there. Okay. The dirty troll did a super chase. You see people are trying to make custom Virgil builds in the game from Devil May Cry. I have not seen that. No. That does sound pretty cool. They can pull that off. But I have not seen it. Here's how you get down there. Okay, let's go investigate. Why am I toxic? Yeah. Thank you to Dirty Troll. I'll get you on the leaderboard when I get a safe spot here. Probably an optional cave or something down here. Ooh, more Crystal Bud. Oh, man, I love the Crystal Bud. Ooh, it's good. Uh, what happened? Oh, there's enemies here you can't see. You literally can't see them. The fuck? Special delivery! delivery! It's the same kind of enemy that we fought earlier in the other area with the, that I was supposed to be in near the Beast Shrine. Only here they're probably the right level to fight. See? I don't know where they went now. You can't see them. 
Oh, look what I found. Huh. Ooh, a new color. The Cliff Bottom Catacomb. So, because we're in a new part of the game, that means the optional dungeons will be different. Yeah, they will look different now. Maybe have different enemies and stuff. Very good. Going down, 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 deeper underground. Get that lantern because I can't see shit. There we go. Anything under this? Stop like this! Can someone please shut up this dude who's being a, a moron? Now, conveniently, I'm going to miss every attack. What did I say? What did I say? What the fuck did I say? Why am I missing every attack now? I had no problems landing attacks, and now all of a sudden I'm in a new area of the map. Every enemy dodges every attack. Got some salt? Get the fuck out of here, man. What, what do I do? What a pain in the dick. All right. Be wary of the right, be wary of the right, and be wary of the right. There's a lever. That's how you get the thing to come back down. Oh. Okay, go down. What a pain in the ass. Darius, yeah, I think you're better switching to two-handed. Do you think the two-handed is gonna hit better? Is you think that's the problem? Is the two-handed has a better attack arc, and the one-handed just whiffs a lot? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Cause two-handed, I was kicking ass, right? All right, you know what? Yeah, let's try it. Might be a matter of damage output, too. I'm just going to do a lot more damage to handing it. Stairwell down. I hear monster voices. Surrounded by these gremlin dudes. He did a double jumping stab. Of course he did. Time for ranged battle. Enemies down there, huh? I'm guessing you don't want to go down there. That's like a place to. If you fall. Okay. Yeah, you get a big attack buff of being told when you're two-handing, so... That's why I was doing so much damage with this weapon. Oh, I... I'm gonna run out of healing fast. Yes, indeedy, sir, I am. I only have three left. Ugh. <laughs> Move, I'm stuck against the fucking wall. Whoa! 
What the? If my swing didn't take 14 years to come out, I probably would have hit him. And now I have no healing. This is the problem. These fucking things hit me for so much, I have to constantly be chugging. And I'm out of healing. How am I going to beat the rest of the dungeon? There's nothing even in here. What a waste of my fucking time. A fucking flower? That's what they have to offer me for fighting that guy. A flower. My jump attack didn't come out. I had the stamina for it and nothing happened. Chad Effect says there may be illusory, an illusory wall that I skipped. He said it's weird that there was a giant enemy there nothing. Do you think there's an illusory wall? I don't think so. I'll try, but I don't think so. There would be a message. I mean, fuck, they put messages on every other wall in the game where there wasn't one. I don't think there's an illusory wall here. No. No, I knew it. Nothing there at all. Just a waste of my fucking time. <clears throat> Let's try this. Hopefully this is good. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. M Nox Mirror Helm. Can't equip it, but let's take a look at it. The Nox Mirror Helm. Helm fashioned from a crystal looking glass, one among the Eternal City's ritual implements, easily broken and weak against striking attacks. Worn by those committed to high treason, it wards off the intervention of great, the greater will and its vassal fingers. Sure, it does. Haha. <laughs> Well, now I have, like, one stone key left. I used all my stone keys today, pretty much. A rune arc? I've only, I've only found two of those in the entirety of the game, and I haven't bothered with them yet. Those are the things that are supposed to buff your, your runes and, and let them be active, but I've never actually done that, so... I have no healing. Why is the game... It refuses to... It refuses to select the enemy standing in front of me. It does. It wouldn't target them. There's nothing I can do. No healing. Yeah, this sucks. My problem is I spent all my stats leveling everything else. I never leveled my health. So now I'm a weak-ass motherfucker. Now that there's actually enemies that are skilled to me... They're super rare. Like, I'm super rare. Excuse me. Super, I'm super weak. And I'm not really of anyone's business. effective, which sucks ass. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. The fucking health now. Pick up saving the rest of you detractors. You all make his stream bearable. Cause my healing is great. When I use the flask, it heals a ton. I think my healing ability is more than my HP. Seriously. I bet that my flask kills for more than, than my full health bar. My health bar has never increased. Okay. 
already. I got hit, what, once? I have to heal. See? It's rising to uh, toxicity. How did it make it? Mean, it literally shows the fucking thing stabbing through his body. He missed. Sure did. I'm just gonna skip this big guy. There's no point to fighting him. Why did that not stagger him when it always staggered before? I don't get it. I traded and 50% damage. Right. <laughs> I need help. I, this is so bad. This is real bad. did it miss? I jumped directly into both of them and did a giant slamming attack. It did miss completely. Uh, can you please fix you your fucking hitboxes? I have to ask. Holy Christ. That is terrible shit. How? Only I had a way. To get them off the wall. I don't have a bow. At least a bow that I can. I guess I have a crossbow. Not nearly as good, though. That's just the trap right there. No way the trap is an illusory wall. We're probably coming to the end where we flip the switch and then the boss door opens. These usually aren't very long. At least up to this point. Who knows? Maybe they get longer and longer the further you play the game. Oh, fuck. You seem to be getting more fair with the the fact that you're not just constantly bouncing off the walls. That used to be a major problem. And yes, you do bounce off the walls with your weapons, but not as bad as in previous games from what I see. They're actually letting me hit things. Two assholes. Of course I fell for the trap. Why wouldn't I? Not step on that again. There's another one up there. Is that it? I think just him. Okay. A scythe. Okay. New weapon. That's great and all, but where am I going now and how do I open the boss door? This is a dead end now. Uh, what, what do I do? Huh. This is not good. 
I don't want to drop do down. I do? That's where I came from. Yeah. I came from one level below. What, what do I do? There's a higher up area over there what we do haven't I do? to yet, but I'm not sure how to get to it. Hmm. I don't know. What, what I don't do I see do? Way to it from here, right? What, what do I do? It's Dark Dave's fault. Hmm. I guess we just backtrack and try to figure this out. I never saw the lever to open the boss room. I still don't. Like, what am I missing here? It's none of anyone's business. Came over here, this is a dead end. I have no fucking clue what I'm missing. No. Das bullshit, there's not been any pillars that spit fire. I, I don't know what's going on. This whole thing can't be optional. No fucking way. What the... I, I don't know. It's too confusing. Under me, there's a big fat guy, but I don't want to fight him. Yeah, there's nothing there. I already killed the guy there, and there's nothing in there. I'm dead very end. confused. And now we're back where we started. I have no fucking idea what the game wants me to do. Unless I drop all the way down. That's the only thing I can think of, actually. I guess maybe that's what you're supposed to do. All right. going on? I can't move. I was locked in place and unable to move. Oh my god. Not- what Oh my I god. It's completely unfair. Fucking let me play the fucking game. I didn't jump. Nah, this is bullshit. I'm in the middle of hitting him. What do I do? Point. I'm in the middle of hitting him, and you all of a sudden the game's the controls locked game. up. It wouldn't let me move. Grab some so salt. So I have him. I was just going to keep doing jump attacks and stunning him. It, would, it just stopped. It literally just said, stop working. Huh? Why couldn't I attack? It didn't make any sense at all. And then he just started. Now I can't get out of the way. Because I'm trying to move Roll to up. the next room where we can make some space. No, now the camera will get stuck in the wall. Fucking shitty. Motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find out who the fuck you are. You motherfucker. You are fucked. Let this be noticed live on the internet. You're fucked. And you are done. Yeah, so you follow me now, you piece of shit. He does climb a ladder. We're soulmates. He can climb ladders. That's pretty funny. He's dead, though. Okay. Now back to business. <laughs> Of course, I still get hit, even though I dodged. Uh. 
Suck it, you ugly fuck. All right. Page Ashes. A new summon, huh? The Page. All right. Oh, brother. Well, we made it. Now the boss door will be open. Blue Fang. We already had those. Some more. Oh, you know what I'm thinking is, since I'm not using this, I should just unequip it. And that way I could actually put on a better helmet. Put on the Lucarian helm we just found. <laughs> okay. Uh. Special delivery! <laughs> Special delivery! <laughs> you think I can one-shot the boss? I don't know. Maybe. Try it. Back? This thing again? Oh, it's different. This one has three heads. Today's been incredibly slow. Oh, what? I just... <laughs> right, I didn't roll. of the previous one. Caden Sellsword Ashes. <sighs> a variation, but not super tough or anything. Yeah, as soon as I have more faces, right? Didn't that one look like I have three heads? I use magic, but nothing too special. Okay. Dungeon way more annoying than the boss, of course. I wonder how many times they reused that cat boss. That's the third time I fought it now. Of course, it's a different variation, but still, it's it's the same cat boss. Let's uh, let's make sure to use all my stuff so I don't lose it here. I I'm definitely gonna put some levels into vigor. I would be a moron if I didn't. I'm taking so much damage per hit. I'm gonna put a bunch of level. Probably the next five six levels. I'm gonna put just in the vigor. That's right, Darzix says, don't forget the new buff drink. I didn't even think about it. You're right, there it is. The Flask of Physic. And also, I could have kept buffing, because I have I have the two Cerulean Tears. I could have kept uh, using that if I wanted to keep using my buff with the spear, too. So you're absolutely right. Oh, wait, I'm going to walk outside to do this? Okay. It's none of anyone's business. What the hell are you doing? It's not what I did. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jade, you went and you got WWE 2K22. Good for you. Hopefully hopefully you like it. Like I said, for now, I'm going to hold off on playing it. I got to focus a lot more on and this she game. Did so far a behind money buff else. reduces your salt Play levels. It. while the I absolutely more. have to focus on this for now. <laughs> but what the fuck? I think eventually I will get WWE, especially if a lot of creative content is made over the next couple of months. Then it'll actually be a better time to play it, I feel. Oh, there's a dude sitting in a chair. Somber Smithing Stone level 2. Time for head. 
All right, we are done here. So, I should probably fast travel back up to the highway again and then head out again. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Should I go after this map next? Because to get the map, I have to go back to this one and ride between. Yeah, you know what? I think we should get for them. go for the map. Because the map's going to show us all the points of interest. Alright, let's uh let's head down this way. And this should help us get, get down to the forest where the map is. We have to go through this little crevasse here. Here it is. Okay. Because I don't want to keep exploring and not be able to see shit. Here's our little camp we saw. If we can get past this, then we could probably get the map. I'm not sure if there's anything important in here. We can just skip it. I got—I don't even know what that is. It's paper. I couldn't read it. I was mashing. Aha! Sight of grace. What is? Why is this green? A green candle. Weird. And this is a vendor. I think we have a new vendor. Look at this place. A big swamp. You're new around here. Yellow. We're in yellow. Surprise nice outfit. I like it. My little nook. No matter. No matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you mm. take a look at my wares? Oh, but don't. Ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? He stole them. By the way, the dirty troll, I'm so sorry. You're supposed to be up on the leaderboard as the latest super chatter, and I didn't do it. I get myself so wrapped up in this game that I forgot to update the leaderboard. I'm sorry. Thank you for that super chat earlier. I apologize. Uh, by the way, about last, roughly last half hour here of the stream for today, guys, but there's lots more Elden Ring coming very shortly. Uh, again, thank you for all the, for the support. It would be great if we could hit this tips call at the end, but looking like we're probably not going to do it. <clears throat> Let's see. Crystal dart, spellproof dried liver, and a shatter shard arrow. The S-Stock. The astrologer staff. The astrologer gloves. The whole astrologer set is here. I don't need any of this. Nope. All right, Guts. See you later, man. Thanks for chilling today. Hint, hint, hint. All right, let's just head straight towards the map. Try to get it. And then figure everything else out. Let me just jump down. What is this? What is this? Sorry. It's kind of a deformed freak. Ugh. What do they call it? The swamp? Of, the shit house swamp? Swamp of glowing shit. Got the map. Special delivery! He <laughs> was That's very excited about me finding the map. Whoa, okay. We got a big ass area opened up here. There's your church. The game seems to be under the impression you can walk here to get to this castle. I don't know if I believe that because it looked like all water to me. It didn't look like that was accurate. Um, here's where we were. We've gone all the way this way, then turned around and come back. This is actually where the tower is. Alright, but we're not going to do that yet. Damn, this this map goes all the fucking way down there. Two ways to go here. What sucks is that the map just kind of runs out right where we are. There definitely looks like a building or church. If we can find a way up here, there's definitely something there. I'm not sure what. But, yeah, not too much. My family's good today, Jade. Thank you for asking. Um, Sink, Shinkin, dollar, uh, sh uh, Shinkin 25, tip me a dollar 50. He says, weep not for me, I'll rise with the spring's new growth. Thank you to Shinkin for a tip. Don't know what that means. Kodrick the Crafted 
to me five dollars says i'm the lord of all that is golden as long as it's in the form of some kind of jewelry there you go someone who i guess kodrick doesn't like to graft people to his skin he just likes gaudy uh gaudy jewels and gems there you go thank you guys for your support mr dude i am good thank you for asking good progress today as you can see in elden ring So I would like to go here to the right slightly and see what this building is. It's very hard to see in here. Very uh smoggy, right? Oh, that's not even what I was going towards, but this is weird. The map doesn't show. I guess it technically does. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, a giant fucking lobster. It is. It's a lobster. The purified ruins. Rock lobster. It's kind of cool. Makes you kind of hungry. <laughs> Alright, so now we know we can get out of here by walking up here. That's useful to know, right? So these are the purified ruins right here. Is there anything in them? My back actually is good, uh, Jade. My back is, is almost 100%. Not exactly 100, but pretty darn good. Way better than it was. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I, I had a little bit of soreness this morning, but for the most part, the pain has gone, which is great. It means, it means basically, it was exactly what I thought it was. A little bit of a tweak... Probably like a, a nerve pull or a muscle my pull. Laugh oh, like, ass, ass, ass. When I laugh, I go, nothing too serious. <laughs> or, <laughs> that's not like, ass, ass, oh, don't, ass, don't bother ass, to get ass. up. You don't have to. Sounds Sit back down. I'm not sure who fired that magic at me. I don't know. I don't really see anything here. This is like it was their camp, but I don't necessarily see anything of any use here, right? Not really. I see nothing. <laughs> Pretty much absolutely nothing here. Hmm. Alright, fuck it. Let's go back. Go back to where we're going, because there's a big building <laughs> here, I think. Straight ahead, there's a building, supposedly. Or the remains of a building. Should I fight the giant lobster? Why don't you at least see what it's like? Oh! He's fast! Wow, he's very nimble! Well, I wasn't expecting this. I thought he'd be kind of slow, it's completely the opposite. Jump attacks are the key to this fight. Jump attack did tons of damage. But he's way faster than I thought he would be. He's like speedy. A speedy lobster. And he hit me with the boobles. Das boobles. How embarrassing to lose to a lobster. Actually, I don't think it is embarrassing. I think that was quite fun. I want to fight him again. Oh! 
fun. I did it. You had to stay near his it's tail. Nice. Wow. It's stay near the tail and get a delicious lobster dinner. Strip of white flesh is all I got for that. It's kind of lame. <laughs> but it was it was a silly fight. Very nice. All right, so it says there's a building this way. Low car mammoth says, we are at Red Lobster. Can you order us some biscuits? Biscuits are the only good thing at Red Lobster. I think the biscuits are way better than their seafood. Uh, we've got Sight of Grace. We've got... Glintsman Craftsman's Cookbook of whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, there's a guy on horseback over there. Reach out and touch Grace. Got even more new stuff I can craft. I can now craft Cuckoo Glintstone. Use FP to produce a magic bolt. Cuckoo Glintstone. Jesus. Freezing grease. Coat your armament inflicts frost. Look at that. Will I ever in the entire game use these? It's a good question. At this point, no. Is that guy just a normal enemy? He looks like a, kind of like a boss. Let's check him out. Dino and Washington. Yeah, big wolf. Again, most people died here from the flu out? and from the coronavirus. Oh. So, I don't know why we're freaking out about this. I really don't. You could die now. So look at that, it's basically a trap. This area of the swamp is set up as a trap. The homosexuals are evil people who are all passing around AIDS. Oh, I got a flashback. It's set up as a trap, you see the guy on horse, you think, oh, it's no big deal. And as you try to chase him, all these guys start sniping you. I do. Interesting. Thank God for the horse. Seriously. That could actually be a, quite a challenging part without the horse. With the horse, you can outmaneuver all the attempts to basically cheap shot you. Alright. Cool. <laughs> We're soulmates. That was neat. I like that. That little setup, a little trick. We're trying to get you. Oh, where am I? Where, no, I'm not even where I was supposed to be at. I was heading towards this one. See that? Towards this big building. The Laskyar Ruins. Alright. Look how dumb they are. I wonder if you're supposed to follow these blue lights. Oh, what is this? Another one of those horsemen? Yeah, it's another trap. There's more of those horsemen there. Stop this! I wonder if the blue lights lead you to anything important. Probably. Oh, what the hell? Where'd you come from? That was odd, because he totally wasn't there, and then he was. Look out, there's a black woman coming out! She takes some blood oh, out. Yeah, look, they teleport in these enemies. Oh. Why? Why can't I use my weapon? What happened? I put my weapon away, even though I... What is going on? My game glitched and having what, what do I do? Seriously. What, what do I do? Oh, uh, I'm dying now.
I'm dead. I don't even know what happened. I have no idea. It's a stupid thing. These enemies are fucking dumb. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, the game glitch. It took my weapon out of my hand for no reason. I didn't do that. I'm in the middle of fighting and all of a sudden I have no weapon. I'm like, huh? Like, what happened there? And I actually have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what went wrong. Zero. Well, I'm gonna try to get my stuff back and continue it. You know, I wanna fight those guys. I want my fucking spear to stay out this time. Or my uh, halberd. Don't know why it went away. Teleportation gate right there. There's the big guy. Oh, I tried to dodge. I can't hit the guy right in front of me. Come on with this shit. He's right fucking there. Just hit him. Okay, I got that one. Take your bell and shove it up your fucking ass. The big boy's back. So you gotta stay out of the green shit, because then you get poisoned. Oh, I'm just gonna do this tag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he kills the fucking horse and then he kills me and I can't move. Wow. That's some ingenious gameplay right there from FromSoft. Wow. That's just so challenging. Incredibly fucking stupid. Treyarch, you are a bunch of fucking dumb fucks. Whoa. What if I just fuck with this gate and see where it goes? Let's find out. We are now <laughs> far to the west on a road. That road appears to be blocked by a magic gate. Oh, you know where we are? We're at the school. This is where you said this is the school, and they closed the gate. Yeah, that's exactly where we are. <laughs> All right. Thanks to Jubbity Bubbity so, for joining the Hate Army. We gotta find this glue stone key, right? Meeting place map? You found a simple map. Check it in your inventory. Okay, I'm assuming that would be a considered a key item. Uh, it's been pretty slow. This gives you glint, great glintstone shard, swift glintstone shard. Uh, I don't see the simple map. Where the fuck is it? You guys didn't see it, did you? 
Huh. I don't have money to do it. 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 I want to see it, but it won't let me look at it. I'm very confused. What do I do? Oh, okay. Simple map found on a corpse seems to point to a meeting place. The man it came from surely desired one. What do I do? The sole means of gaining entry to the academy of Glintstone Key. It looks like due west. You would assume that's the picture of the academy, right? You think that's the academy? So if this is the academy, and they're saying due west, they're saying out there somewhere, right? Okay. All right, here's what I want to do. I want to get to this next map. We're about to end the stream. I figure the last thing we can do is try to ride straight down the road and get this map, and then we'll have all the, all the, the whole region unlocked, basically, right? Look at that. Of the whole region unlocked. So let's see if we can pull that off. I don't know. I don't know what's up here. Looks like we're riding through a capital or something. Look at this shit. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Let's find out. Guess I don't have a lot of uh, grace. Only four thousand. No big deal. No big deal if I lose it. Well, I'm certainly happy we fast. Oh shit! I'm certainly happy we fast traveled here, so that way I don't have to deal with all this shit. I can always just go behind it. It's none of anyone's business. Look at this guy. <laughs> you ride all the way around. That's funny. Going circle, swiping. I need the, that money. I really there. do. I need that money to pay my bills. As soon as we get better with the horse, you just ride through everything, just kick its ass. Oh, we may have a problem here. This is the road, and it looks like it's about to fall off. You. Please. I can read them. The finger reader's back. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. We're soulmates. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Michaela's favor can be yours. <sighs> slaughter. 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 Special delivery. <laughs> Special delivery. <laughs> All you need to is snatch it from the big pot. <laughs> what is she talking about? Snatch Taking something from the big the pot? Poor, poor fool. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what she's talking about. Uh, I think we could jump if we're careful. Ooh, I just found golden seed. Sweet. Academy Gate Town. Again, let's see, can we get over to the uh, the map? Tiger, tiger, row, 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 so tiger, like, oh, row, row. Like a all kinds of shit outside the academy, right? All kinds of buildings, churches, maybe even like a whole full university, but it all is wrecked and gone. This is good. Fortuitous for us. Grab this. Sit here. Yurnia North. So... Here we go. There's still another area over here we don't have the map for. So that's got to be... Yep, that's got to be the academy right there. There's actually stuff to the north of the academy. See that? 
Where we are, there's the gate town to investigate. We got a lot of shit to investigate when I play this tomorrow. Damn, we got a lot to do, man. A lot of work to do. Uh, yeah. It looks like if you ride through these ruins and you go west and you go south, you get up on this ledge and then you can ride the ledge all the way and see what this is. Probably a fort of some sort. Actually. Actually. The right half is inside Fort Faroth and the Dragon Borrow far to the east. I was curious, could because we found that at a fort. Could the other half be over here? And the answer is absolutely not. It is not here. Let's just rest. Jade, I'm not sure what you're saying. He says, how do you, how you do you back? I don't know what you mean, Jade. I, I wish I understood what that meant. I really don't. Um. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, good stream today for sure, right? Not only did we wrap up everything in Limgrave, thank God. Now we're on to bigger and better things, right? We are... Uh, we're here in Liurnia, that's what it's called. Yeah, Liurnia. And we are having fun, right? So far, pretty interesting. Um, and uh, I'm investigating the swamp. I mean, we could go back there, but I don't really know if there's a reason to. I don't know what that is. What is the column? I don't really know if there's anything in there to really investigate to go, to go back to the swamp. But definitely maybe going south and checking out what that is right here. Um, outside of that, we got the ga this gate town to investigate. You can check out whatever that is right there. Ruins. This. Obviously, we can't get in here yet. But they were they were insinuating if you go west, maybe that's where you get the key. So maybe that's how we're going to get our key to get into the gate. Uh, through that gate, the magic gate. If we wanted, we could come back here. We could go north. There's all this stuff to the north we haven't investigated yet. That looks like some kind of a teleportation spot. We got our tree for the region. Like, we got a lot of shit to check out. So, um, we're good, man. Like, that was really fun. Let's save up. And, uh, thank you guys so much for a great stream. Thank you for the support today. Thanks for the engagement. Thanks for everything. Great stream for sure of Elden Ring. Until tomorrow when we do it all again in a whole new region, right? This is cool now because now we're not just in the first area anymore. We're actually doing new stuff in new areas. And, uh, I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed the stream. All right, thank you. Until next time. Awesome. All right, guys. So, as I said, that is it. I'm going to upload this gameplay right now to the channel. So, if you guys had any, uh, idea, excuse me, if you guys had any point in the stream, I am Cat and I like wondering. Oh what did I? It was good stuff there. So, I hope you'll check it out on Cat demand I like uh, my here on DSP Gaming. If at all you can, because I'm going to upload it right now. Tonight. Pokemon Legends I need that money. I really do. I need that 5 money. City time. My bills. End game stuff, if not the conclusion. I'm hoping it's actually the conclusion. I'm just being honest. Um, I'm getting kind of tired of the game at this point. Uh, being that it is, at this point, incredibly competitive, I thought the game would actually open up and be different. And it wasn't. The entire game is pretty much the same game for the over. So let's see what the end game content is tonight and maybe the conclusion tonight. Tomorrow there will be more Elden Ring. And tomorrow night, there will be Horizon Forbidden West, okay? So, guys, again, thank you. I hope that you enjoyed the stream, and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Excuse me, tonight for Pokemon, and tomorrow for more Elden Ring. Sound good? Thank you all, and I will see you tonight. Peace out. Oh, here we go. Now he's talking about WWE Champions, so he's a piece of shit. You piece of donkey shit. How about this? How about this? WWE Champions, all right? WWE Champions lives rent free in your motherfucking head. I don't think about WWE Champions. You do. You probably know way more about the fucking game than I ever will because you're an idiot. You're an obsessed loser. It's Tevin's fault.
miserable. It is miserable.
Welcome to the show, got another storyline. Sit yourself down, about to be a gory time. Toss away, we're back on the come up. Wanna step up, get my sum up, we gon' run up. This is destiny to be the greatest guardian alive. Can't be complacent, crow to got it once, horse got it too. Third time's the time, tell you what we gon' do. No more legendary, gon' be exotic like y'all gon' learn. He ain't never gon' stop the light. Piss a battle, hop back in the saddle. We will wrestle and hassle, and now we're breaking all the shackles from the earth to the moon to Saturn. Guardians band together and recover the light that was shattered. Underdogs now, you won't even pay us one thought. Just wait till we blow up like the rounds of my hunter sunshine. You gotta supercharge, then you get in the quad on my squad. Please. No be lay though. When you run across a map and you keep getting capped, no be please. Go with the game flow. When you got the power ammo, when you got some weak sauce in your hand, back up off yo. These gaming MCs, we got one destiny. What that be? Wipe the maps, yo. In a disorderly fashion, we make it happen. Give me the loot, it's time to cash in. Every player should hold me in high esteem when I strike with my fire team and blow the entire scene. Burn like incense, leaving an imprint, fleeing in Ariana's vengeance. The weapons are exotic, you can't stop the product. Zavala bring the drama, you cannot deny it. My movement you can't weaken, so we gotta crush the Red Legion and leave them dead, dead bleeding. Elemental affinity for big guns. Sunshot, one shot, all you kids done. It blew the tower, but can't let that hinder us. Never giving up, we on the stuff that blew gender up. It's indisputable what I can do to you. The carnage is beautiful. Meet me in the cruise. You got a supercharge, then you get in the quad on my squad. Please, newbie, lay low. When you run across the map, then you keep getting capped, newbie, please. Go with the game flow. When you at the power ammo, when you got some weak sauce in your hand. Back up off, yo. These gaming MCs, we got one destiny. What that be? Wipe the maps, yo. Yo, more EXP is empowering this Guardian from my well, like empower and rift uh, Call the storm Lightning ions, blasting guardians Off the wall, fighting lions Go ahead and beg, I will not stop No community, but my game, we going pop, pop Savage, merciless, no time for fake fads Climbing the top, steady grinding like break fads Break fads, your team, take last No safe pass Recruit, place ads, straight blast We money, straight cash Brave lads, play last and they smash Face facts, we murderous I can hear your heartbeat through the mic A sign of your nervousness You getting nothing but the best from me Just accept it, it's destiny Let's go When you got a supercharge, then you get in the quad on my squad Please, no be lay low When you run across the map, then you keep getting capped No be please, go with the game flow When you got the power ammo, when you got some weak sauce in your hand Back up off, yo. These gaming MCs, we got one destiny. What that be? 
Why the maps, y'all?